Hello and welcome in to another Harry Potter speedrunning video on this channel. And today is the very first time I'm gonna try out Retro Achievements. And I guess it's important to know what the Retro Achievement website even is and what it does. Basically, it adds achievements like you know them from Steam games to all kinds of old retro games that don't usually have them. And obviously, Harry Potter games count as old retro games that don't usually have achievements. So the website has all kinds of them, the PlayStation 1 games, the 6th gen games, even some of the Game Boy Advance games. And for today I thought it's best to take a look at Harry Potter 1 for the PlayStation 1. Which has a pretty fun set of achievements, most of them relatively straightforward and you achieve them by just playing through the story, doing stuff for 100%, like collecting all the cards. But there were a couple that we have to take a closer look at. Some of them require you to beat a boss fight entirely without taking damage. And those are doable, but sometimes required a couple of reloads because some of them are a bit stupid to be honest. And then my biggest nemesis, collecting every single bee in all the areas and collecting every chocolate frog and potion in the entire game. Those were tough because to be honest I haven't played this game casually that much so I didn't really know where everything was. The big question is, could I still actually complete this and get all achievements? Well, you're gonna find out in this video. Hope you're gonna have some fun with this different take on some Harry Potter speedrunning. You can find my entire Retro Achievements profile in the video description if you want to check it out. It's not super spectacular to be honest. But for now, enjoy the video, thank you so much for watching and have fun! I'm pretty sure the balcony is actually just where Coral is. Mr. Frog? What? How? There was nothing on the balcony. There was behind more webs. Okay, well, I believe you. Because you definitely know more about this game than I do, so... <laughs> I only know the speedrun things. Well, that was a sad first attempt. Uh, do you have an achievements profile? Yes! Uh, it's just... I'm just Nick, so I can link it, I guess. I haven't really done anything, so it's not gonna be very interesting, but there you go. That's that's my achievement. The 3GBA broke the last playthrough for the cards. Oh. <laughs> that's unfortunate. So... Mm, that's weird. I mean, I guess it's 3GBA. I had it break out of 100% a couple of times as well. Okay, let's see if we can find all of those feckin' frogs again. Oh, he also did Silent Hill. I'm sure he did a couple more things. I, I think those are his two uh, big series, like main series. This is not a potion. <laughs> I wanted to pick this up. But yeah, makes sense. Lucky you played with safe states. Yeah, thank God. It's interesting to see, like, it's kind of crazy. Only 7.68% have the most rare achievement. That's not that many, considering there's, like... Uh, I don't know, not not also not that many people that have done the achievements in this game. <laughs> not many people that have at least one. This game is so magical even after all these years. It, it definitely has some very, um, very unique vibes that make it very nostalgic for sure. Very chill as well. Mm, I don't think I have made anything like that, sadly, no. Um... I could do that. There, there is a couple on YouTube that um, that show you how to enable debug mode the best way and stuff. Hello. If you want to. I mean, the 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 yeah. Once you have debug mode on, you can enable the command line, like the the input thingy with uh, the tilt button, <laughs> which is one of the weirdest buttons on the keyboard. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, 390 points. I wasn't sure how many that is, Sujuk. I don't know how much we get in Hando, because I remember we... Bro, well, at least now we need the frog. <laughs> I remember we got a... We get a shit ton of points in Hando as well. It is really nice to be back to PlayStation 1, even though my gameplay is completely garbage, but that's okay. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call this stunning art style either. Oh, come on! Fucking, what the hell is going on with the Let's Grab Skip? You don't know all the commands? Oh, there is a list somewhere. Um, I forgot what website it's on. I think it's on the HP Gaming Wiki even. Uh, oh, the, the Gaming Wiki in general, sorry. PC Gaming Wiki, whatever it's called. I guess I'm not gonna try any more fucking... Let's grab skips. 
It's quite tight on points as parts of the game have very little to offer. So you're telling me I should do this, right? Basically. Yeah, I guess I probably should, to be honest. It's a good idea. It's a good idea to do that. I should probably use every safe book there is as well. Do they give beans? No, right? No. Okay. I mean, I do own the game as well, so either way I, I'd, be fi I'd be safe. Um, I think it is, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that is the definition of piracy. But I do have the game, I can even I could even show it, it's not far away. They get HP2 to work. Hey, that's actually kind of already impressive. That game also does not run well on modern Windows. But yeah, no, it, it really does. The game really likes to fight back. Yeah, I hate that it doesn't track the house points, by the way. It tracks the frogs, but why does it not add up the house points? That would be great. Can push the block to the end for more points. Thank you. <laughs> that is smart. Oh, I see how to get there now. Oh, I get it. But how do you do that? Yeah, it's crazy. I, I had no idea about this. I'm gonna definitely discover some uh, some new things about this game today. But how the hell are you supposed to do that? <laughs> I'm so confused. From up here? And for believing, of course. Is this enough? Oh, it is. Okay, wow. That is a well-hidden one. Thank you for letting me know. Because I would have missed this one. 100% would have missed this one. Nice. Okay, we didn't fall down again. That's that's a big plus. Uh, I put I pushed the block all the way before. Yeah. Ah, that's that's nice, Harmony. Yeah, I think it's a very wholesome community. It really is. I I, I would agree with that. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad to hear that from people, you know. As long as people feel like comfortable and welcome here, that's all that matters. You know, I pushed it, I pushed it into both ends before, yeah, yeah. No worries, well, thanks for helping out. There's a little spider here that I could have casted on, oh my god. I don't know, is 950 points really that difficult? I mean, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you get a lot of points somewhere. Did I play? Hey, we're an achievement! Hedwig freed! Oh, I thought there was like an audio sound. That's a bit sad. Yeah, that's. I was looking for resources for potions and frogs, but I didn't find anything, so yeah. Oh, it's just there for fun. Ah, okay, okay, good. Then I didn't lose points. That's a bit of a shame there is no noise. I've played LEGO DS 5 to 7. I never won to 4, actually, but I've played the normal LEGO games. Once you get to the upper castle, the number of points goes down a bit. Yeah, I can see that. I just don't know how many we get in Hundo. Wait, 390 points, not 950, by the way. I don't know where I got that number from. <laughs> 950 would be insane. We need to sort of keep an eye on that. Like, I definitely have to beat Quidditch. I should have saved before. I don't have any idea about how good that game is at all. Nine. I need to really look into that. It's been requested a long time ago. I just have never really gotten around to look into it. I'll, I'll try to maybe do that soon. If it's actually good. Um, that's cool. That's cool. But yeah, the normal the mo normal Legos I've done a couple of runs of. You know, if anyone likes chess, exclamation mark chess, you can join the club. The chess club and then you get notified and you can decide if you want to play in the next tournament whenever it may be. We've actually had one just this Sunday, actually. Checkers, I also play. I'm an I'm an expert at checkers, actually. Also, been one out of fifty-five. Well yep, thank you, Swordman. I genuinely forgot until I just saw it on the way back. <laughs> mm, after chance, make sure to get back into this flying lesson for an extra bonus challenge. Oh, there's a bonus flying class. See, that's a thing I had like absolutely no idea about. Thank you, Sajuk. I'm glad to have people in chat that are knowledgeable about this game. Like, I genuinely only know the speedrun. I don't know all of those little, like, small things that exist in this game. That's cool, though. <laughs> more like checkers DMs more often. I actually check them most of the time, like... Like, I read messages a lot earlier than I reply to them a lot of times. Because a lot of times I, I read them, but then I don't have the energy or time to reply. 
And then I have to push it back a bit. But I do. Oh, I read game. them. Woo! I read them. Okay, we got points. Thank you so much. I appreciate the rate. Hope you're doing well. That was very kind. And uh, yeah, welcome to some PlayStation 1. Uh, I'm gonna save, honestly. If you've started playing LEGO 5 to 7 with like an X, uh, yeah, getting, getting back to that with someone else is gonna be weird. Oh, wait. Oh, can you not get them now? Well, I guess I can get them after charm, so whatever. I don't have to talk to you. <laughs> get out of here. Good thing there's nothing for triggering every, like, every cutscene or something. Okay, I need all beans here, so I can't, like, uh, I can't just do the shortcut. All yellow beans shouldn't be that hard, right? 55? Shouldn't be a problem. Uh oh. What even happens if you run out of time? Yeah, I don't think I've ever had that. <laughs> Oh, the yellow beans is easy enough. I know red beans is a problem because you need all of the ones in the troll chase, and that is gonna be freaking difficult. Like, I'll definitely save before the troll chase. You don't get bonus points, and then you lose the achievements. Oh, that's what happened? It could honestly be, but I don't think he gave us points right now. <laughs> I think he gives us points for uh, finishing this, though. I might be wrong. But those I think you'd always get. But yeah, uh, th the issue with this game is... Oh, not really an issue, but... Once you get house points and Dumbledore does the first house point ceremony, they don't get added. Like, let's say you have 60, he does the ceremony, they go into your glass, and then the counter starts from zero again, I think. Hey, achievement! We learned Wingardium Leviosa! Um, so, yeah, so we have to we have to kind of keep a mental count of how many points we're on, just so I have an idea how close or far away it is. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we made it in time. It seems very generous, but that would it could be that they just like deduct points. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, okay. Oh, so you do actually lose house points. Okay. Good thing that we have Call Me Kevin to be uh, professionally <laughs> bad at games to show this for us. I mean, to be fair, that's what I do as well. I'm also professionally bad at games. Okay. That's cool though, it's good to know that that's what happens. So 23, that's a good start. I genuinely, I have no idea where the other, like the rest of them is. And I'll just keep on saving, I don't care. Just in case if we miss something, I can hopefully always go back. That's the idea. So you're saying there's a mini game here for house points, yeah? Let's see. Why did it, oh yeah, it saved of course, because I saved. <laughs> he refused to go there in time, he didn't want to conform to their rules. Okay. Oh, it's Flitterbees, what the fuck? Yeah, that does sound like a Call Me Kevin thing. What the hell is this? I have absolutely never seen this. That's cool. The oh yeah, that's where you go later on, yeah. Thank you, Sajuk. Yeah, you'll let me know whenever I miss something, but no worries. If you have stuff to do, it's also totally fair, by the way. I don't want to keep you hold you hostage on this stream, just because I might need help. <laughs> but I appreciate all the help. Okay, at least this is kind of easy. Well done, Mr. Potter. Yeah, I was also thinking of 2 GBA. Okay, 10 points isn't terrible. I had absolutely no idea this existed. That's really cool. This is all achievements for HP1 PlayStation 1. It's not official achievements because this game obviously doesn't have any. Is there any in the common room? Can I even go into the common room in this game? I don't think so, right? Do I have to go into the common room? So weird how you can't go back into the library. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that this game doesn't have like the biggest, uh, Merlin. Merlin. Doesn't have the biggest open world, really. I'm just gonna see if there's a frog in there, honestly. I have the feeling there is, if I recall correct. Or beans, yeah. But it's a bit of a shame. HP2 does it a bit better. You can, you can visit most areas again, like, afterwards. Is there anything? What the fuck? Oh, wing belt potion! She talks about wing belt potions, but she doesn't have one, okay. Ah! Ha! See, we had to go in here. Okay, I kind of I kind of thought so and this is where Fred and George are, but I don't think we need their quest, do we? Okay, I agree though. The grounds are better in the in the in that game. I fully agree with that. Need a remastered version of this on Steam like Tomb Raider. It would be really really epic. Okay, we go up there later. Oh, one of them is to get the Nimbus 2000. Okay, so I guess we do have to trade with them. Fair enough. Wait, why is there something in the bottom right? What is that? What is that little picture there? Is that like I'm on this achievement or something? Because I think that's beat Malfoy. 
in a retry button. Oh yeah, I'll definitely save in, in Green Guts to make sure I don't do anything stupid. Probably a frog. No, but it's just, it's Malfoy on the icon. It looks bad, but it's definitely Malfoy. I can see blonde hair and Slytherin colors, so... Uh, he's kind of what now in, Ita in Italy? <laughs> That's quite the typo. I mean, yeah, makes sense though. I don't remember from Italian uh, HP2 PC when we when we played it. I'm playing HP2 today? No, probably not. I really don't know how long this takes, but I actually expected this to be like six hours or so because I just don't feel like I'll I'll find anything, like everything. So might take a while. Did that count as a frog? Because that one is kind of random, right? So I don't think that counted. Yeah, the the Tom Felton who just. <laughs> <laughs> changes his facial expression to in pain when you hit him. Wait, he doesn't do it anymore. Oh, yeah. does he only do it during Quidditch? Doubt that would count as a frog. I think so. I, I don't think it does. Like, pretty sure it's just, um... I didn't even know that's an achievement, doing it without taking damage. I guess that's what it was hinting towards. <laughs> um, whoops. But that's, that's why it was on the bottom right, I think. And this time it even played a sound, so... Hmm. Sounds like a chore. I really don't know. Maybe it doesn't actually take uh, that much. I really don't know. We'll see. Oh, okay. We need to keep, keep a mental tally. Also, yeah, I would never want to remaster. Not because it would kill, like, PlayStation 1 Hagrid. That's very true. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the yellow beans later then. That's fine. Uh, 105? Yeah, it should be. I think it's even... Isn't it 110? I don't know. Maybe it's 105. Actually, no, it's 105. No, no, no. It's one. It's 115. I'm saying 115. So if anyone wants to be the math master during this run, I would, I would appreciate that. Okay, so we're one third done already with points. Not terrible. Oh god, 4K PlayStation 1 Hagrid. That would be pretty awful. I think. I mean, there's like this PlayStation 1 Hagrid in, with like realistic graphics or something. Already got five. Oh yeah, you can live track it on my profile. That's true. That's cool. Yeah, we got ten from the hourglasses. Five each. That's where they're from. Okay, I see a frog. That's good. Hello, Hagrid. Hello, Hagrid. And I see a Hagrid. That's even better. A cup of tea at his hut. Yes, I will try my hardest to do. Okay, I guess I guess I get I guess I actually cannot save right now. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, I mean, we have to go to the dungeons later anyway, so it's I guess a bit more time efficient if we get the beans then, right? Do I have the things planned out? I mean, I've looked at the achievements. I know what we basically need, but I don't know where exactly everything is. Like I have no idea where all freaking 80 frogs are <laughs> or where um where all the wing belt potions are, I have no idea. Yeah, the upscaled one, exactly. The upscaled one, that's the one I meant. That one is so freaking cursed. Yeah, I mean, 4 GBA, 5 is pretty horrible. All the DS games are pretty horrible. 4 GBA is okay, it's better than the PC version, I would say. Hey, another achievement. So wait, he's eating the plants, you're saying? Oh, there's frogs over here. I don't think he's doing anything, right? The PC one is very questionable, yeah. I would say the handheld one is a bit, like, a bit better, basically. I think this is fine, I hope. What does Harry have to do his own while don't the other students have to do an obstacle course unlike him? I mean, I think they do, just in order to get to class. We're at 140 points again. Okay, that's like halfway, thanks for keeping track of it. It's not halfway, it's <laughs> sorry, my math is wrong. But yeah, it's it's actually kind of close. I assume we need the gold wings, right? I don't remember. Is this actually an achievement or not? Yeah, you probably need the... I mean, you need the points and you probably need gold wings anyways. Is there an achievement for murder? <laughs> hey, we're not gonna murder anything today. Am I getting the beans as well? Yeah, we'll need those as well. We'll need those as well for achievements. Like all of them. Not, not just the ones Fred and George want. Actually all of them, so... Yeah, it's gonna be rough, but we'll get there. You're surprised how accurate to the books 2GBC is? Yeah, the GBC games in general, I would say, are incredibly, incredibly close to the books. PlayStation 1 as well is fairly close to the books. It's... 
like, it has a, the, probably the most plot from the books out of all the games, apart from GBC, I would say. It still does its own thing in a lot of areas, but that's what I always liked about it as well. Especially the second one with Valentine's Day and with, um, with, uh, Death Day and stuff, Nick's Death Day. The prize of the portraits. Yeah, we need. I think all of those as well. At the le at least the cart, the armor, and the. Yeah, no, we need all of those. The upgrade and the broomstick. Yep. And Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. The cupids. The cupids are the Valentine's Day one. Yeah. How much does HP kiss borrow from the books? <laughs> I mean, yeah, Harry and Hermione kissing. That's what I remembered during Valentine's Day. Very romantic. After Ginny wrote Harry the poem, he was like, okay, nope, not not that girl. <laughs> and then he chose Hermione. He wanted to do this at some point, sorry. It's been requested like six months ago. I just, <laughs> I was just too scared to, to ever do it because I don't know where everything is. But um, yeah, you can still do it. Maybe we can make it a leaderboard, honestly. It seems kind of fun. It's not, e it's not hard to set up at all, so... Yeah, I, I don't know. It could be. It could be a pretty nice CE for this in HP2, honestly. And 3GBA leaves out half the story. Yeah, 3GBA is definitely very special in that regard. Okay, we didn't get an achievement for the gold wings, but we did get the house points, which I guess is kind of needed. I assume? I don't really know. I'm gonna save. I made you Valentine's Day cozy, uh, your birthday cozy on Valentine's Day. I'm very happy to hear that. Oh, I saw a potion. That's really awesome, Forgetful. Thank you for saying that. Oh, wait, this... Oh, okay, so it's 81 frogs and potions. Okay, okay. Do I think it's doable in one sitting? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it's gonna take us longer than six hours. That's my estimate for this today. I mean, if I miss everything, maybe, but... Mmm, good bean as well. Need every single bean? Yeah. Oh, the f the Cooper test. Oh my god, yeah. I hate that one as well. We had we had that one in school. Okay, my controller is still fucked up, by the way. If I want to spin the camera to the right, Harry walks forward. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, I like this this bean. No, oh, it's I don't actually remember what you actually have to do for it, but it was some random uh, some random test. Yeah, I guess what you describe. There's also the Graham something test, isn't it? The Graham Pacer test? I don't know. That's the one where it always beeps all the time. Wait, no, that is the one. I think it's that's 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 the name in the States, I think, isn't it? I I remember that being a thing. I think it's slightly called different in different areas. There's a really good bean, it's orange. Literally just orange, but I like it. But yeah, basically what Volky describes. It it beeps, you run to one line and then it beeps again and it gets like faster and whatnot. And then it, well, eventually you're just dead. And then you it's over for you. It's really stupid. Yeah, thank you, Kento. That one I know about because I've done Hundo, but I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. A very keen eye. Also very hard to find, of course. Also Dervin Shimpling, let's go. Okay, oh, there's bushes here, shit. Are all timers in this game generous? They, they are, usually, yeah. Did I just do a keen eye pun? Not intentionally, I have to admit. <laughs> it's intended for kids. I still think this is a relatively difficult game though, but I agree. Uh, uh, okay. You got a really haul ass. Ah, you got this, Kazo one. Same for Bishog and Retrog. Oh really? Okay, I had no idea. It's that easy for all of them. It's really nice. It's I didn't know it's like such a big thing with the retro achievements. Could have increased, it could also increase the game resolution. I could have, but like the issue is if I do that, I have to do, I have to put it back for runs to be valid. Also, if this is actually going to be like a category, then, you know, it would kind of suck for it to be invalid. I doubt it's going to be, but yeah, you're, you're not allowed to tamper with your, um, with your stuff, like graphic settings and stuff. Has to be the standard settings, basically. So yeah, it, it, I mean, I, maybe I should have though, you don't, you have a point. I don't disagree. Oh, okay, there's an achievement here. That's what it means in the bottom right. Yeah, I don't know why. It doesn't capture it anymore, Renee. I've noticed that as well. I don't know why, but like, the with the capture I have, it just doesn't capture it. I have no clue. It's okay. I can show them at the end with like window capture. I don't, I hope, I don't know if that would be valid, but whatever. I, who knows. 
Yeah, that's why I prefer HP1, Brandino, yeah. It, there's like a lot of minigames. I hope, is there an achievement to, be, achievement to beat this without damage? No, right? Squidish World Cup PC worth playing? Um, mm, it is. With a friend, I would say it's worth playing. Alone, it gets boring very quickly. Like, the co-op, the, the versus mode is actually pretty fun. Damage less is something that should be done natural, let's assume. Huh? What do you mean, damage less is, is natural and assumed? <laughs> I don't think it is, right? I'm pretty sure that wasn't an achievement, but I'm gonna look for it real quick. What do I, how would I find this gargoyle or something? I don't think it is. No, no, it's not. There's a couple of areas that you need to do without getting hit, but I don't think that's one of them. It better not be, at least. Time loss. It's important that we get all the achievements. Time is, like, secondary. The reader was hilarious. I'm very happy to hear you enjoyed it. That's awesome. Oh, man, I hope so as well, then, Wrench. It always sucks when people just, like, stop streaming, when they just leave for good. It really does suck. So I hope they come back eventually. Why is there no upside down achievements? I think that is an excellent question. Renee is an expert in that now. I'm very happy about that, by the way, Renee, because now all of the upside down runs that people usually dump into my chat will get forwarded to you. <laughs> so uh, enjoy, enjoy that. So do I put those into those thingies? Does that give me house points? Did not think it through, nope. <laughs> what even do I want to do here? Like, what does this do? <laughs> I don't know how to solve this area the casual way. Okay, this... Oh, and that... Okay, that turns on the thing. But how do I get up there? I mean, I have damage list requested as well, actually. Via it for, like, the future. But not, not for this run. <laughs> it's impossible. Ah, okay. So it's just... It's just random... Random shit up there. Gotcha. Thank you. Two PlayStation 1 achievements would be like, do all sliding activities perfectly. Oh yeah, do all sliding activities without dying or something. Oh, it would have picked Bean Boy. Bean Boy also works, I guess, but the bonsai is probably more of a more of a trademark at this point. Wait, is he not? Oh, he needs to be fat and um, uh, thick enough. But what if I get him to the other side? Oh, we got a lot, yeah. Uh, you can actually track it. Maybe someone can put my profile in again. On uh, retroachievements.com. Wait, how do I? How am I supposed to activate the other one? I mean, since it doesn't give house points, it doesn't really matter. But I genuinely don't know what to do here, uh, casually. Which side do you go on here? Yeah, thank you for linking that wrench. Uh, so that's so you can see the achievements I got basically in real time. Oh, the puff skin respawns. Okay. Put a guy over by the ledge, right side. Uh, okay, but. Oh, there. Oh, there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. But I don't really have to do this, right? It doesn't really give us anything, does it? Definitely think you should play LEGO DS. Yeah, like, it's one of the very few HP games that I actually haven't even played at all. The one for, um, one to four. So, yeah, I kind of don't disagree. I'll, I'll look into it for sure, but I have so many things in the queue and so many, like, so many things to do. Oh, Flipendoing it shrinks, it shrinks it back as well. Mm. But then the other side wouldn't be, um active anymore, right? It's actually kind of a cool puzzle, by the way. I can't- I kind of- it's kind of dope, I have to say. I don't hate this. Which Kevin will play the PC games. Doesn't he have, like, very few videos about it? See, that's why- why the Mickey D channel is also great, because he does play- or he did play a bunch of the PC games as well. There's one about, like, all of the HP ones, which is really nice. I- I love that one. <laughs> They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Wait, where's that coming from? Why are we taking the hobbits to Isengard? I'll get this, by the way. Don't you worry. I'll get this potion. Okay. Oh, did all of three. Yeah, that's what I remember. HP 2 PC. It's such a shame he's, he hasn't... Wait, did I drink it? Yeah, right? Such a shame he hasn't looked into that yet. Yeah, I did drink it. I don't know. My brain forgot like two seconds later. Because that one would be really funny if he does it, honestly. It's a hassle to get the games to run. I mean, HP2 is actually pretty easy to get to run if you know how to. <laughs> but uh, there's sadly a lot of, like, bad information about it on the internet. Okay, I think I got everything, right? I hope. 
got me got you through 30 months ah that's very kind of you to say but no you got yourself through those months and uh once again, thank you. I'm glad you keep on enjoying your stay here. I have the feeling this controller is dying. I feel like Harry runs super slowly. Yeah, I should be fine. Behind the gate of Hagrid's hut, thank you for reminding me there even are beans there. Because I don't really remember. I've been over here, yeah. We have to really, really be careful and have an eye out on everything. It's It's kind of cool, I have to say. Like, I do like this as a kind of a max percent. Also, whoops, I was supposed to split here. Welcome. Ah! Hatch your dragon. My with a cup of tea. I, need some I have a different controller, but I feel like if I plug that one in, everything's gonna be messed up again in terms of controls, so... I think I, I, think I can live with this. Yeah, I, I probably will, uh, but they're freaking expensive. But I probably will. That one should probably last a bit longer. As much as I really don't hate the bootleg one I have, it's cheap, It's it's actually feels really good and it's really fun to play with it. But yeah, it, they break pretty quickly, sadly. Um, but I'm glad to hear that music. I'm glad I can be some background ASMR. Uh, I, think, I think that next and because it's also... Uh, book accurate. I'm pretty sure Snape takes it away in the books as well, so that's probably why they wanted to have it. But I think Hermione gifts it to him in the books. If I don't, if I don't remember wrong, oh, I did that in HP two once. I remember even closing my game once because during pause casting, like I pause casted and clicked on the X. I remember that. I'm actually having a blast with this. This is really fun, I have to say. Um. No, I've seen that, Kony. Yeah, yeah, it's such a dumb glitch. I don't know why they've done it like that, but yeah, I've done that before, pushing the block out. You can actually do it very consistently, because um, if you go up to the secret where you push the block in the Findo, by the way, for people that are not sure where it is, um, you need to go all the way up for, like, the, the wall to open. If you don't go all the way up, the block can't actually go out. So you push it once against the wall, then you open the wall, then you push it out, and it's always in like a spot where you can just freely move it, basically. It's really stupid. So it's very easy to break that secret with Dervin Shimbling. Dervin Shimbling is just an all-around awful card, you know? <laughs> the guy sucks, the secret sucks, the level is in sucks. Dude, you can't do anything against those. This is the worst, the worst minigame to join in during. I'm genuinely gonna time out. I, I'm gonna fail this minigame. Okay, easy. Not even worried. Uh, it's good that I don't have a PB in this, because at least it doesn't matter if we lose time. Yeah, we see the achievements pop up for getting this card. There's a lot of very straightforward ones in this. Like, a lot of them are just 100%. Um, but then there's a couple that require some extra game knowledge on where things are. So, we'll see. I hope I'm not gonna miss something. Uh, also, I should have saved again. We have to get the remember all without losing health. So we have to do this damage list, which means I'll actually try to focus on it. How many trophies? Uh, 53. Out of those, 31 are missable, which is a little bit terrifying. Yeah, and we, and we collect like every bean there is, exactly. Oh! Well, that sucked. <laughs> it's okay, we saved not too long ago. We just have to do the stupid ball mini game again. Please don't quote me on that. But yeah, I, I genuinely think this could be a fun category, by the way, uh, if people are willing to run it, because it's incredibly easy to connect this to to retro achievements. I, I agree. I, I really like the idea of retro achievements, and I've never really done anything with it. Like I haven't used it for anything or whatever. I've never even, not never even in private, like if you go into my profile, this is the very first game I've ever even started. <laughs> there is actually still some Harry Potter games out there that don't, especially a lot of the handheld. So if anyone is like a big fan, I mean, I would check obviously the website first, but let's say I think 4GBA doesn't have one, I might be wrong. Maybe it does. I think 5 doesn't at least. And I know there's some 5GBA enjoyers in this chat, so... You might want to consider uh, going to the website eventually and and getting some achievements. And I'm so worried about him throwing his stuff. Yeah, there he goes. Good. Ha ha ha. This is actually kind of difficult doing this without damage. You never really think about it, but yeah. Oh, 4DS has? Okay. Malfoy, calm down, my dude. 
It's important to brush with a toothbrush and not a hairbrush. I mean, you, you do have a point there. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna fight you on that. <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting fact. That is damageless, right? I didn't take damage. Does that, does that not count? Or do I get it after this? Oh, 4 GBA has, okay, and 4 DS doesn't, I see. Ah. Okay, we got it though, good. Achievement acquired, really Papega, but it's fine. Uh, I just want it to be valid at this point, that's all I care about. Oh, again. Woo! Uh, since it's the first run, doesn't really matter what we do. What? But yeah, that, that was my small shoutouts because oh, apparently there's still a lot of Harry Potter games that don't have retro achievements. So if anyone likes a game in particular, I would recommend making some. Would be cool. Neville's face is pretty unique. Yeah, he's. I always compare him to a sloth. <laughs> With his neck and everything, he really looks like one. And to be fair, it's kind of fitting. Or E.T. Yeah, E.T. E.T. is probably even more accurate. I I kind of agree. Um. Okay. Gotcha. Sajuk. That's. I mean, they're just in the mushrooms and stuff, right? Yeah. Cool. 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 Retro achievements for the DVD games too. I don't know how you would code that, that it that it like collects them automatically, but yeah. I guess that's the only that's the only issue. Like you would need the knowledge to like connect the achievements to the events in game, and I do not know how you would do that. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Essentially a max percent? Yeah, basically. Finally, we're doing the HP1 PlayStation 1 max percent that people wanted for so long. <laughs> that I've always refused to do. The achievements motivated me. Rocklamps and Tentacular. Yeah, that makes sense. Playing on Hardcore? Of course. I mean, come on, if they give me the options between Hardcore and Softcore, I mean, what am I gonna choose? <laughs> That's the website's words, not mine, by the way. I'm just saying. Double points. Oh, really? It gives you double points. Interesting. I had no idea how it works on that website. I just know that it means like you can't cheat, basically, which seems like the correct way to go for an achievement hunt. Also, hey, we got another one. PlayStation 2 Harry Potter game? Yes, that one does. That one does have retro game trophies. I'm pretty sure. I remember looking at that because when this was requested, it, it didn't specify what game I could choose one, basically. Um... And I looked at all of them, and I remember there was something that took forever in that, so I was like, nope, <laughs> I'd rather not. We can we can do this for other games for sure, there's something here, right? A potion, good. We, we absolutely can in the future if it's requested. How is the Twitch partnership treating you, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, it's, it's alright. Um... They, they've done one thing which hopefully should help me get a good, a, a good bit, which is, uh... Doing the part like changing the partner plus program a bit. So it used to be that you need 350 like unique subs to get any benefit, but now like if you have a hundred, you you get uh, you get uh, 60 40 rather than the 50 50. That's gonna help a lot, for example. So I'm quite happy about that. Apart from that, I mean, yeah, it's it's all right. It's Twitch. Twitch scams everyone. That's what they do. But <laughs> at least that should help a bit. How to... Pl what the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, this is a problem with my controller being messed up. I, I <laughs> Literally, I can't... I can't hold the inputs because it's just doing the wrong thing. I don't think this is gonna work, yeah. Why Why is it bounce so weirdly? I guess I go around. I don't even know how to do this casually. I think 2GBC does as well, yeah. So you could request that, for example. With enough points, that would take definitely take quite a while, though. Yeah, I wanted to jump over like like Hando, but I guess what the fuck do I need those? What even are those? Wow, <laughs> amazing! Yeah, the grounds are nice. I agree. Oh, so oh, okay, and then you're here. Okay, I see how it is. Usually we go the other way around, but yeah, you might get those yourself. Yeah, yeah, should be fun. I mean, I I think those are. I, I looked at those as well, and there's some that just take forever, if I recall correct. Okay, one seventy. Mm. Um, I am personally thinking probably this one as well, Spectre. I think this one is easier to do. Like, I'm just worried about some things. Like, I've just seen how difficult the Malfoy chase is. I think Quidditch in general is kind of gonna be difficult. Why does it not count those beans, by the way? 
Closer. Those mushrooms are cute. <laughs> really, with their weird plant hairs on top. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait. Collect all the blue bean pies? Oh, it counted once we yoinked them out of the floor. That's weird. But I guess, sure, I'll take it. We got the achievements. It's meant to be a hint for the troll stuff. I guess, like a small tutorial how they work. Yeah, that could be. That could be. It's kind of weird to still be here after like an hour. We're still in the freaking grounds, but... <laughs> I mean, we're also achievement hunting, right? So, it'd be like that. It's gonna be so interesting to see if we miss a frog or something in the end. Like, there ain't no way we're actually gonna be valid, right? We'll see. Like, I'm gonna miss some dumb frog. 81 is just too many. Great. We'll see, though. I really like how they do it, though, that attracts stuff and everything. Oh, it's it's really, really nice. I don't even know where split here, usually. Yeah, achievement hunting always takes time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what are we on, by the way? Any mathers in chat? <laughs> I think we were on 115 before this, so we have to add those together. Actually, no, it's gonna do it in the bottom right. Ignore me, because it's well-coded. And no, they don't exist for PC, sadly. I don't think any of them has. Otherwise, I would have chosen a PC game for sure, because I know those way better. But no, no. See, that's... I don't know how you, if you could code it like that, like... This only works because of emulators, basically, so they can kind of code it into the emulator, but... I don't know if you could do that with PC games, maybe. But no, I don't think they exist, sadly. Green beans will be hard, oh boy. Okay, I'll try my hardest. I mean, I've tried my hardest for the other beans as well, but yeah. Okay, before I do anything else, I go to Fred and George. Yeah, Hollow Knight, oh god. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that doesn't even need retro achievements because it's on Steam, but yeah, those are those platinum trophies and Steam achievements are hard enough. I mean, I guess you can have like a VM, that's true. I, I really don't know if it works for PC games. Is there any PC games on the website that have it? Or should we get the broom as well before going to the dungeons? Probably, yeah. I probably. Ah, uh, hmm, actually, no. Be hmm. I don't know if what's the best route. I think we should get it later, but I'll go to the entry hall, uh, the the great hall. Sorry, because I know that has beans. Directly checked by the emulator. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's why they pop up and everything, which makes it way cooler and it looks like way cooler. And that's how the website itself tracks it as well. So it has like official stats and official standings. Like I don't know if anyone still has a wrench, maybe, but um, you can check my profile for example, and it's gonna live update the achievements I have. I've, I've discovered it a while ago, Imos, but yeah, I wasn't super aware of it either, but it's really freaking cool. Like, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't know I don't know what we do with the broomstick quite yet, but this card I know is the best to get now, Albus Dumbledore. I guess regarding the, the broomstick... Hmm. Yeah, since it's in the dungeons, I don't know... I guess I should probably get it now. It's probably the fastest, honestly. I think it's probably the fastest. Also, so we know if we miss something, I guess. Want a real-life version of those cards? There are chocolate frogs. You can... Um, you can buy those from Warner Brothers for way too much money. <laughs> for, like, way too much overpriced uh, prices. I don't know, that was a weird sentence. But they do exist. And I think they look kind of cool, actually. But they're not with the original game art, unfortunately. Yeah, Brother Warner always has you covered, of course. And when it's about making money, they, they always have you covered. Making money for them, obviously. Um, so yeah, you get the cards. They have different art, though. I think, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they have more movie-like art. And they have, like, some movie characters and stuff. Alright, let's see where we, where we can find beans. Oh my god, I forgot how laggy this area is, even on emulator. Uh, oh god. Do they still have them? I'm, I think you can still get them. I'm almost certain. I, I know I looked into it eventually and I wanted to get them, but then I didn't. Oh my god, this is terrible. What is going on with this area? Why is it so laggy? Um, the, that was the laggy hall, definitely. That doesn't sound very sp spectacular, but it's... Oh, that's where the portrait is, I forgot. But it's pretty accurate. You can still buy some of the cards released in 2000s, with, which even include the expired chocolate frog. Ugh. For how much money? That that sounds vile. That sounds way too expensive and, and like, awful. 
I genuinely don't really know this area very well, so... We'll see what we can do. I know there's a card in here, so we might as well get this. We have to eventually. This is this is not really gonna follow a smart route, I don't think. Yeah, that chocolate was fresh. Dude, that's crazy. That chocolate existed from when I was like two or something. That's insane. You have a card? Which which card do you have? Jukunda Sykes? Wait, so it's actually a PC card. Wait, that's actually kinda cool. That chocolate is older than some people in this chat. Yeah, that is crazy. That is actually crazy. It's older than some, like, Harry Potter speedrunners. Harry Potter world record holders, probably, even. Is that true? Probably. Oh god, there's beans here. I don't have Vertimilius yet, though, so I actually can't do this. Never mind, I guess we need to get the broomstick later. Oh well. I've only recently started having a bit of a collection for HP merch, but mine is not, not as... As cool as yours in that case. Oh, there's tables there, okay. I'll try it then. Go for a drink with the chocolate even in the US. You can go for a drink with the chocolate? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't understand that. A drink? What does that mean, a drink? Is this usually not Vertimilius though? Am I just tripping? What do I even do here? I, I don't think this is possible. Nothing happens. I'm I'm trapped. Your uncle has a Fort Anglia. Wait, still? Oh, when the second book came out, I guess. Oh, okay, you can grab that. He just didn't want to jump. Oh, I see the other table. Ah, okay, so that's the idea. I don't know. I tried. Oh my god, I hate the fucking controller layout. I, I need to. I need to see if I can fix that because it's annoying me so much. Oh, okay, I see, Range. yeah. That, I mean, can you not unclaim it eventually? Also, that was great. I'm glad that table spawned on time. What the fuck is this, man? This room is dumb. Yeah, I would have honestly preferred this- He doesn't jump. I would have honestly preferred this with bookcases. This is stupid as hell. He doesn't jump half the time, because this game is- Thank you, table, for actually appearing. That is that was terrible. I hated every part of that. Oh, a Slytherin ring, nice. Yeah, I'm also not a fan of wearing rings, by the way, but that's still pretty cool to have. Salazar Slytherin. With 33% done. With the with the what? The Chiefs? What is that? <laughs> sorry, I sorry for complaining, by the way, but. That room was stupid. I hate that room. I don't want to ever go back to that. Okay, decent. We need 10 more beans. I really don't know where they are. I guess in here there's some. Good. I'm sure there's HP themed necklaces as well. They have to be, right? There's HP themed everything. <laughs> it's just, that's how they do it. If they can make money out of people. Oh, it's the short for achievements. I am I am one heading, honestly. I deserve that one. <laughs> I that's not even three heading. That's one heading. Slytherin's lock in, true, true, true. Remaining ones are in the dungeons. That makes sense. I almost wait, I don't I can't go here. I uh, know I can go here. I figure that much, yeah. No, I completed the mini game, thank you though. Well, okay, down to the dungeons then. Perfect. And then the portrait is up there again, but I can do that at any point, really, right? Yeah. Wait, do you have a Slytherin ring? I mean, I know you despise Slytherins, and but I guess I guess at least you've realized eventually. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't just throw it away after realizing that. The time turner necklace for thousands of dollars. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, it is cool to be fair, but I don't even want to know. I was like, hey, brain. <laughs> That's a great achievement. There you go, Snape. Get your sloth brain. Get out of here. Cool. So there's going to be. No, we come back down from there. I'm going to save, though. You powdered the metal and mixed it in Slytherin drinks. That sounds more like you, Jordy. Um, yeah, that's where this portrait is. Let's see, I hope I'm not gonna fuck up here. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of green beans I could miss. <laughs> which kind of worries me a bit, but we'll see. I feel like I didn't split, but it's fine. Come on, Harry. 
Why is there cauldron cake walk and cauldrons? I'm confused. Ah, uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings merchandise is also expensive, but genuinely I would 100% uh, recommend the movies. You made a, a retro achievement profile, Park. You can also follow people, I think, so if, if people want to follow me on retro achievements. It's actually very surprising because uh, both Wrench and I think GoTo found, found my profile on retro achievements without me ever announcing that I even have one, so I don't know how that happened. So GG's, I guess, people. <laughs> Like, I've never even talked about do doing this or that I made an achieve like a profile, but people still found it. What the hell am I doing? I did announce it? Really? Are those hundreds of it? Yes. The Lego Harry Potter castle. I know you can- can you not just buy the full thing? Isn't that- isn't that a thing for thousands of euros as well? You got Daisy Dodderidge? Hey, that's also one from the- from the games. That's so cool. This was scheduled once. Oh, maybe it was, and then I realized it might be long, and I just didn't. Castle made from multiple sets as cool figures and shit. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You only made one, that's true. The other two were made by someone else. But yeah, no, I will, I will, mining for sure. I don't know why I did this, it's literally the wrong order. <laughs> Wait, I got one bean? Wait, you don't even have to pick this up? That's so weird. It just counted just when it spawned in. That's, I think that's slightly wrong coding, but... I mean, I'm still gonna pick those up, otherwise it feels kind of wrong, so... It, I mean, it's a bit of an easy win, but it, it's still... Oh, wow. That's that's cool. Such an OG Lego set. I missed the bean. Did I actually? Where? I mean, I saved, so it would be fine, but are you sure? There's a... Can I go back? Okay, then I, so then I solve this and then go back. You missed a bean. Also, this frog doesn't count for some reason. That's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, run out on riddle, you know, sa same thing anyways. You can go back. Okay, cool, then we're fine. Does this one count? No. Oh, wait. Oh, it didn't collect. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, it, it did count for the achievement, I think, but why did it not collect? Didn't I walk into it? The room is the RNG. I'm pretty sure the crates always spawn the same things, though. I bo got bounced up by the grade and it flipped over. Okay, that's ridiculously dumb, but good to know. Thank you. <laughs> Can't imagine. You can buy Lego sets for hundreds of euros, but that those three, that's <laughs> that's where the uh, that's where to draw the line. The troll storeroom. Okay, it's really nice that you can go back here. That's that's actually very solid. Cool. Okay, anyways, uh, there's beans here. There should be beans in the cauldron room, but pretty easy ones, just on the way. We're getting house points for like every small dumb thing, by the way. I think 300, uh, 390 or whatever it is shouldn't really be too much of an issue, but we'll see. I mean, it, he didn't jump! It has been, or like it has, has, dude, fuck you, Harry. What the fuck is wrong with emulator, Harry? He, just, he literally just doesn't jump. I'm gonna use fucking D-pad. I think, I think the analog stick is just calibrated weirdly on Duck Station right now. Yeah, he just likes drowning in green goo. That must be it. Yeah, okay, with D-pad, I guess it worked. Yep, I make sure, Sajuk, thank you. I'll try. Also make sure to get those frogs. Actually, I'm sort of confident. So far, I think we're good. I know there's stupid frogs at the end, though, on the way to uh, to Voldemort. Wait. Huh? Oh, it's counting beans and not frogs. It's glitched. Oh, I was so scared for a second. It reset. I mean, it's also a bit of a game -ish issue because auto jump sucks. But usually, like, I think I think it's just, like, not recognizing the stick properly. Like, usually if you don't press it, like, all the way, then he doesn't jump up, jump off, but I definitely did, and still didn't do it. Here it just doesn't, sometimes doesn't jump off. Yeah, auto-jump is bad, sadly. I I'm very happy about that as well for PC, that it's not a mandatory feature. The joystick find and other stuff, um, that's a big cap up right, but thank you for asking, right? No, it's, uh, it is, usually, so... I use it for HP6 all the time. The other one that I use in HP6, or that I used to use, that was the one when Harry didn't sprint sometimes. 
But this one usually works for HP6. I don't know. It's whatever. Yeah, I just have to play with D-pad. Like, stuff like this, I guess I do with D-pad when it matters that he jumps. Uh, it's good. We're, we're achieving things. I mean, not really, but at least we're <laughs> at least we're unlocking little things on this website. So there's that. I feel like I've achieved things today. It's actually going well so far, I would say. Like, I, I'm not unhappy with it. Uh, but look at how many freaking frogs and potions there are. It's actually insane. Wo I'm drei in Oglias. Have fun with the retro achievements. The retro achievements. Thank you so much, Otto, for 21 months. That is three years in dog years? I had absolutely no idea. Is there anything left here? No. It's all the beans in the underground. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will get all of the ones in the... In transfig, hopefully. Uh, also, yeah, that's fair as well. That the... Um, that you think they're too short? Nine. Whoops. I mean, the 100% all games marathon... I mean, GBC is pretty long, I would say, personally. GBC has quite the runtime during it. Oh, it would be like 14 in dog years. Oh, wow, they age quickly, huh? All the Gramsh doggos. Oh, you said it's not short. Sorry, I it scrolled out of reach quickly. I guess I read it wrong. That's my bad. No, true, true. The GBC is quite the block. No, it's falling down. Are you kidding me? But it's, it's gotten better because uh, there's a new trick found, actually. Uh, so next time we do, do a hundo run, it should take me like an hour less, which is good. Because that game really kills you, uh, honestly, it kills your stamina. So I hope you enjoy the glitchless D-Rust. Also, it's good to, I don't know if you've ever done a, um, a speedrunning race in general, but uh, it's always good to get some practice in racing as well. So you get some, you know, some experience in that, because it is always different if you can't reset and if you have like an opponent and stuff. I hope it's gonna be streamed, by the way. But yeah, best of luck. The race will be on, indeed, for once. <laughs> what kind of trick? Um, it's called arbitrary code execution, I think. Yeah, it's fine. It was not very fast, but we got there. So basically, I, I just know how it works for like any percent. Like, you, you buy a bunch of seemingly random items, and then press a bunch of seemingly random inputs, and it teleports you to the credits. Like, HP 1, GBC, any percent, I think, is like 15 minutes or something. Um, it's like super short now. I don't quite know how that's incorporated into Hando, like into 100%, but I know it's used as well, and it shaves off like a lot of time. You may now end. We race on the streets. We can race on the streets, don't you? As in, like, with the car. Not with the car, that's not okay. Don't do street races, kids, but like on foot, absolutely. And an HP2 as well. I'm down for both. Running? Okay. I mean, I'm horrible at running, to be honest. I mean, I can run fast, but I just don't have any, like, long-term stamina, I have to admit. Wait, why is this transfigure? I'm so confused what my splits are. Yeah, same, Enric. I don't... I'm just gonna do this and split after transfiguration. Oh, interesting, Cameron. So you're one of those people that... Uh, that are the most efficient during the night. Honestly, I count myself to those people as well. But I've, I've kind of changed my schedule recently to... Uh, oh yeah, this is Cauldrons. To kind of just work in the morning. And I, you know, I can force myself to that and it works okay. But I kind of feel you on that. I some often feel like the night is also where I just work better and more efficient. For 100% you don't really use glitches. Yeah, I mean, there's 100% glitches runs for some games as well. Like for a lot of the PC games, for example. Well, a lot. <laughs> One and two. But yeah, obviously for a run that's already like 80 hours, we, we use anything we can get to save time. But that's totally fair. Casually, I think that is more fun. The way uh, ACE works typically is you load enough data to move the execution block to a specific line of code that should normally be executed. There you go. That sounds about right because you buy so many random things. This is on the third playthrough. Ah, so you don't do the third playthrough at all anymore, right? Ah. Even enjoy playing games and stuff more at the time, just less distraction. That could be it. Yeah, everything seems a bit more calm. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> so nice, Sonia. <laughs> That's perfect. What could be better, you know, being inefficient both at day and night? I mean, <laughs> that's, that's just best case. Perfect. 
Yeah, I gotcha. So it cuts one playthrough down, so it makes sense that it um, saves an hour. Also, I hate this stupid puzzle. Yeah, that's what I don't like about 1GBC. That's why I like 2GBC more, because you don't have those segments where you, can ju where you can just get stuck on, basically, because you can always grind a lot better. I mean, in 1GBC you can grind as well, I guess. Like, I think there's a classroom, one classroom on the same floor that has encounter spawning, but it's, like, so specific and so stupid how it's only in there. And even those are strong from what I remember, so yeah, it kind of sucks. Much more of an early bird than a night owl. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting how how it kind of like people split into two groups. And I guess the third group is what Sonia described. <laughs> Neither a night or uh, like a, an early bird or a night owl. But yeah, it's interesting how it kind of splits into two people. The multiple par party members is nice. Oh yeah, that's true. That does help a lot as well. True, true, true. Um... The not a bird group, yes. The humans, ugh, cringe. Uh oh, that's fine, yeah. Imagine being a human, by the way. It's very cringe. We don't want that here. Okay, this is good, this is good. I'm pretty sure that one is gonna be the same. Yeah, that's why in the speedrun we only care about Ron and Harry's level as well, because Hermione barely does anything. In HP3 GBA it's different though, There's their Ron is useless and doesn't do anything. I have to say, getting an achievement for every card sound feels kinda wrong, by the way. <laughs> Just means sometimes I feel like dead in the morning, I can imagine. If you have to wake up at 9 and you, like, you're like you doing your night owl stuff until like, I don't know, 3, 4, yeah, I can imagine. I had the time of my life where I kind of did that as well, so... Cool. I mean, it's not like it instantly kills you, Sonia, but yeah. It's definitely... I mean, being low on sleep is, is not the... not healthy, essentially. You can be awake during the night as long as you sleep enough, but... Wait, this is the wrong way. Good work on the cards, thank you. I mean, those I know from the Hunter one. I don't know if we are good on frogs and potions still, but I'll try. It's been very chill. I, I really like the idea of this. I'm actually gonna ask if people would, like, consider this for a leaderboard for the PlayStation 1 games. Because all achievements is actually really fun. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, Sonya. You, you don't look old at all, like, come on. Don't let other people tell you that. Or I guess tell you tell that to other people and then they make you believe it or something. Okay, that was pretty decent though, I guess, apart from falling down twice. I should definitely save. Your brain surely is. Your brain might look old, that's true. Good thing that nobody can look at that. <laughs> when were we allowed to sing Chungus Good Run? <laughs> I mean, I know people talked about that on the Discord, requesting, like, me to grind Changus for two hours with that song on, like, in the background, in a loop. Your back is old. I mean, my back is also, at this point, 26 years old almost, so, can relate. It's kind of crazy if you consider that. I mean, I don't really think that any of the cells in my body have been there when I was born, to be honest, which is kind of a crazy thought. Is there any that always stay alive long? I don't think so. Maybe, actually. Probably. Your leg is old is like 90. Oh, that is not good. Yeah, I mean, bones, I guess, are a different thing. Bones, yeah. They, at least parts of them, I guess, have been there for that long, for sure. Your leg has been fecked for as long as you, you can remember. That sucks to hear, by the way. Oh, wait, there's beans there. That would be weird if, if only your back is like that, that old. Frog go back, huh? Wait, where's the frog? Oh, I, I wish... I hope there's a clip of that, Range. I missed that. Oh, it's up here, huh? Is it here? Oh, there. Oh, my God. What the hell? Is there... What is this? What is this for? Thank you, Sajuk. I would have not found that one. I was like, I'm not a master biologist. I've only started my masters. I didn't finish. I didn't finish nothing. Oh, oh God! What doing, Harry? I hate. I he doesn't. 
So, uh, he doesn't jump. Dude, it's actually so annoying, man. Fucking duck station. Okay. We're talking about being a Gramsh, yep. There's probably something down here as well, right? Yeah, today... Like, it's interesting. Yesterday, there was a very big sussy mood in this chat, honestly. Today, it's a, it's, it's a weird Gramsh mood. <laughs> Everyone complains about being old, which is fair enough. Dude, Harry is a chat in this. Like, his his arm strength is unmatched. He doesn't. He also doesn't really use his legs for anything. Even for climbing up, I don't think he really uses them, does he? Is there anything else in this room? No. Why is there, like, a rock here? What would you ever do with that? Aww. God damn it. True, we have, we, in, we have people that enjoy the bingo tournament. We must be old. That's a good point. Being a Gramsci means I, can, I get to rest and be lazy and nobody can stop me. Honestly, yeah. If I could retire today, I, will, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think twice, to be honest. Gramsci's have it good. I mean, I don't think 34 is old either, by the way. Just for the record. What's bingo? Uh, I recommend the HP2 PC bingo tournament on my YouTube channel. It's basically, you have a bunch of tasks you can do in-game, and then uh, whoever does most of them the fastest wins. Like, you have the, a bunch of choices, basically like a bunch of achievements that you can do. And then, yeah, you, you race it against someone, and whoever does most of them first wins. I'm so... I there's so many frogs left that I need. Ugh, I don't know, I'm feeling like we are kind of missing some things? Yeah, it's it's very accurate, and unlike EPS XE, it doesn't lose like a minute and a half, <laughs> or whatever it is on loads. And I don't think it's quite that much, but it's like a minute or something. Uh, but since it's accurate, it's it's basically the most accurate one, the easiest to set up, and it doesn't lose dumb time all like for running. It it loses like five seconds or something over actual hardware. Do I want to do the death warp? I don't know if I got everything. You need to spawn a potion, okay. Thank you, I guess. That answers my question. Can this come down? Yeah, bro, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Can you stop fucking me over, game? Like, that was- it didn't move at all, and it was literally impossible to get that. Hello? I don't understand how that works. What the fuck is this? Can this just work? Who made this? That's such a shit design. Holy fuck. That's horrible. That is actually, that is one of the worst game designs I've seen in a long time. And I've played some shit recently. <laughs> so... What the fuck is that even there for? And this one goes down as well. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? How did kids ever figure this out? Uh, okay, there seems to be nothing left here, which is good. Sometimes I really get triggered by it. It's, it's, it's such a fun run, but the mechanics of this game can fuck off sometimes. It's just, oh, I'm back here. No, wait, no, we're fine. Okay, so where's the potion cauldron exactly? Of course. I, I think I've gotten everything at least here by the looks of it. Yeah, the best part is Hagrid, that's for sure. Worse than Lara? That is a good question. I mean, I don't really pay attention to the controls too much there. Thank you, Sajuk. My attention is usually on the plot. <laughs> no, I, I, Lara craft controls, that's true. That is That is probably the worst game design I've ever seen. Like, the, the Angel of Darkness, I don't know how they've actually were allowed, how they actually were allowed to publish that game. It's it's honestly so horrible. Okay, I forgot that you actually have to think about the cauldrons as well. Good, we should be okay. I could I should have still done the death warp, I guess, and went to the left, but I don't know if it would have been opened. Wait, why can I not? Okay, I couldn't split for some reason. Yeah, thank you, by the way. This is a really dumb one. Let's not accidentally run off the edge, because that would be a detrimental. I definitely have to... Oh, wait, that's all! Nice! 
Hey, let's go. Only red ones. Red ones might be tough, but we'll see. And then obviously the frogs, which... Pff, don't need the portrait item. You're absolutely correct. Pff, thank you for looking out here for me. Yeah, the troll... I'll definitely save before the troll. Troll has two different things. It has... Um, the beans, obviously, we need to get, and you also have to beat the fight without getting hit or Ron getting hit. And that is actually not super easy. It's not super hard, but it's also not super easy. It's Wanglewort. Cool. Wangle oh, I had the sound. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> that sounds about right. Did I have a... I don't... Maybe I didn't have any, to be honest. Also, god damn it, Henrik, what is what are you doing? Where do you even have the points from? Also, holy shit, that's a cool looking room. I've not been in here for a while. I did, okay, I mean I believe it. Achievement! Out of here, out of the dungeons. Yeah, before I forget the broom, I guess I might as well get it. We get past it, so I think it's best. I don't know, I mean Instagram I fully understand. TikTok, I think a lot of mental health issues are related to that, but maybe not, <laughs> I don't know, maybe not the same ones. I think TikTok just kind of kills your attention span and makes you a bit stupider day by day. But so does HP speedrunning, to be honest, so. Instagram was okay if you know where to set boundaries. I, I think it's okay if you're like an adult already at this point, but I feel like especially if you're young and you see all of those pictures of like, all of those successful and good-looking people and you d your, your mind doesn't really like grasp that it's all fake basically wait oh I didn't go back to them yet I'm stupid where are they actually I, I forgot I forgot are they up here? Oh, they're in the common room. Yeah, of course. I remember that used to be YouTube back in the days OG YouTube was full with animal videos didn't do the candle? I did, I did. It just, for some reason, it's back down, but I, I swear I did. Like, I genuinely did. Or was that the first playthrough? No, I'm pretty sure I did, but I might as well try it again. It's weird that it's back down. In the room that is common. It is a very common room, though. Four? Four times? That That's pretty common, I would say. It's more common than, like, the kitchen, for example. There's only one of those. Yeah, okay. It's more common than the dungeons. There's only one of those as well. Uh, yeah, I guess I get it now, whatever. Okay, we can finally go in here. <laughs> Genuinely scrolled TikTok before and something so traumatizing showed up. Oh yeah, I've, I've actually heard about that as well. That their content moderation has been very bad in the past. I don't know if they've improved that since then, but I've heard about that. Really, the bathroom should be called the common room. I mean, th there is a lot of bathrooms in this. That is very true. <laughs> hey, better flying. I don't think I will be flying better after this, but... Does this actually do anything, by the way, for people that um, that know this game inside out? Does this improve our our speed or something? I, I have no idea. I'm very curious, though. I've gotten everything here last time, so I might as well. I honestly, I should save now again. Uh, no, no, I don't think so, Beaver, surprisingly. That's one of the few things you don't need. This is basically a max percent, but it's missing some things like that. The Nimbus and PC, I think, uh, fills your bar a bit quicker, I believe. <laughs> but I couldn't even swear in that either right now. We're in 245 points, that's interesting. We need a- oh, we actually need a good bit, 140. Huh. I mean, there's a couple of trolls to beat and stuff, but that's actually more than I thought it would be. Most important thing here is beans and frogs. Gotcha. This should be all here, right? Free world record? Yep. I'm a free world record enjoyer. I mean, since it doesn't really have a leaderboard yet, maybe, who knows? Um, I guess it's not really an official world record anytime soon, but who knows? Maybe it's gonna be one eventually. Yeah, that's fair. Tough. So that's what I'm here for. I have some I have some minor suffering and some minor meltdowns. <laughs> not meltdowns, but some minor complaining. I hope that makes people feel better about their Excellent. their own stressful day. That's a fair trade-off. I hope you can relax Perfect. a bit now, being back home, hopefully. Good. Yeah, troll is gonna be tough. I, I really need to save right before that. I don't know if I can. I guess I can save... Can I save at the end of Peeves? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll just drink a Guinness exactly. It's at least at least cheaper than going to the actual Guinness World Records institution. 
to feel like a world record holder, that's easier. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. I'll save good. before that because we also have to do a damage list, the, the fight, so... Once you drop Excellent. down. Thank you. Makes sense. There's nothing in this room, right? No. Ah, there's one in the connecting room between mirror and the troll section. That would be the perfect one then, even. Poor McGonagall. Wait, why? I mean, they've done her dirty a bit, to be fair, but why? We're the mentors that feed off your misery. Oh, I know that's from her. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the trade-off. <laughs> I'm fine with that trade-off. That's okay. Hey, HP4 PC has LV Force. <laughs> we have it on PC. But yeah, it is true. It is, it is very common, I guess, in console games. And it's always one of the worst challenges. I guess in one PlayStation 1 it's pretty okay, at least. Gryffindor. E340. Okay, we need 50 more. That should be doable. PC Megonigo looks rough. At least she's wearing the correct clothes from the movie, which is kind of cool, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, every every character has, like, such a short cameo in this. Snape, uh, Quirrell, I mean, I guess he's at the end again, but his, his lesson is super short. Even Hagrid, I mean, he gets the second lesson in Gringo, like, Diagon Alley, but still, it's kind of short. I don't need to talk to them, right? Diagon Alley is actually the one few things, those achievements are rare. Only 15% of people get, like, the the Gringotts challenges, which makes sense because it's kind of difficult. But that is one of the few things I'm not super worried about. <laughs> because I should be practiced in Hundo as long as I don't press the wrong button and like, if after I fail, if I lock myself out of it or something, as long as that doesn't happen, we should be fine. Guess how many games I have all achievement on Steam on? I know I have it for one, which is kind of embarrassing. Uh, okay, so you definitely have Legacy, right? I'm gonna say like four. Oh my god, fucking controller! He didn't jump again! Oh well, that's. That's that's a big increase in people. Forgetful, but it should be fun. Who else is racing? See, it's good. You guys are getting some tournament practice. Oh, you also only have one. Oh, okay. I thought you did get Legacy. You don't have the Magicus Extremis one, probably, right? Oh no, you might not have a map chamber or something? Oh, you don't have the Petrificus Totalis one, okay, interesting, yeah. I got that during the casual playthrough already. Attic is important for the beans and frogs. Here? In this chase, or what? You're good at it? Okay, what the hell? I might need some teaching from you at some point. I remember when you taught me low cast, that helped a lot, so... Oh, some can be skipped in normal runs. I mean, yeah, I guess you kind of want a shortcut usually. Like this one, I would have shortcut, um, jumped the corner. So I see what you're saying. I hope I can, I mean, I should still be able to win this, right? And those chocolate frogs, okay, Harry, they're just actually kind of difficult to see. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll eat the bean in a second. Oh god, what is this cursed parkour? Usually you just jump down here and that's it. All achievements on Telltale games? Yeah, I mean, that's what, Steam counts everything. Is there anything here? No. Steam counts any game that you have all achievements in, so... Okay, frog. Jeez, this is like a big collectible heaven, though. There's so much to get here. Where's Peeves? Oh, wow, even after the oldest time, yeah. I don't really know about the golems at all. I don't remember if, <laughs> what they what they're about. Am I gonna lose this? Oh my god, what a photo finish! <laughs> Guess they forgot to partition the areas. I think the engine is just shit, to be honest. 25 perfect games on Steam. I mean, you said you're a completionist, so that makes sense. Jesus Christ. I guess technically if we get this today, it's gonna be my, f my second ever perfect game when it comes to achievements. If we get this today. Okay, cool. Thank you for the clap, by the way. That was terrifyingly close. What's the first Subnautica? <laughs> it has pretty easy achievements, to be fair. And I really like that game. I guess I don't play that many games I don't run. I mean, same as well, to be honest. So, yeah. But I want to I wanna have Legacy soon, though. I want to, I wanna in private, like, flip the cows and, um, and do the ancient magic. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> was a sick game. Yeah, I heard it's really... He didn't jump! 
I heard it's really good. Dude, fuck this stupid emulator, I swear to god. Outlast, oh my- oh yeah, I actually- what, that sounds difficult as hell, there's like so many recordings and stuff you need to do. I so what the hell is Mr. Furry? <laughs> and why did you play it enough to have it perfect on Steam? I have a couple of questions, Alu, but I'll- I'll just let you get away with this one. Is there anything here in the bookshelf? Probably, right? And Legacy as well, not surprised. I mean, I usually use Duck Station, it's never been this fucking broken, I don't know what's going on with it. No, okay. Yeah, you people will yell at me if I miss something, I'm sure. <laughs> Persona, oh god, yeah. Persona probably takes like weeks to get. You can adjust the sensitivity. Uh, I don't know where that setting is. I should really do that. Like, usually it worked really well. What the hell is the pressure in the game, by the way? That sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds like a great... Why did he jump? Oh yeah, because for some reason when I turn the camera to the right, he walks forward. I forgot about that. Makes perfect sense as well, by the way. Super annoying. Not weeks, but months of you working at all. Wow, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, that does sound like Persona. Is there a potion down there? No, right? No. There's like nothing here really, right? PlayStation 1 Aerie should play a part in the upcoming Olympics, but he would like just DNF most of the time because sometimes he just decides to not jump. <laughs> he would not be he would not be doing well in the competition. He would kind of just be there and just sometimes refuse to participate. It, it wouldn't it wouldn't go very well. The pressure in the game is HP1 for the PC. I like that. I 100% agree to that. <laughs> Also, what the hell? That by daylight even has achievements? It's like a multiplayer game. Is it? Is it a lot of multiplayer-related achievements? Because that really sucks. He only needs to one try to beat all the world records. I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess that's true. One try is enough <laughs> for him. Okay, cool. Yeah, I hate multiplayer achievements, by the way. Any game, especially when they eventually shut down the server, it's the stupidest thing to have multiplayer achievements. The frogs in the connecting room. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It is a requirement. We need the frogs. We need the frogs for the one achievement. Have had to boost. Yeah, to like cheat in them. I mean, if it's impossible to get, I guess it's kind of fair. If to with every killer get four kills using only their original three perks. Wow. Wait, but that achievement was like a lot easier when the game came out, right? Okay, I would like another safe bug real quick. Is there none? People told me there is. Is it here? I believe people. Both Redneck and Sajuk, I think, mentioned it, but... I'll find it. But yeah, because they added, like, new characters. Oh, it's literally just here. Uh, that's That was easy. Because they add, like, new killers and stuff, right? To, to the game all the time. So it seems like that achievement would get more and more difficult. Oh, no, 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 it's always been this bad. HP 1 PlayStation 1 is laggy in a lot of areas. Like, a lot of areas. I mean, usually you just run through that part. Well, usually you don't even play the troll in normal runs because any percent skips this fully. But, yeah, no, it just doesn't... It's it's It shows more if you play this a bit more casually, I guess. Each kill has its own... Oh, so if, if they add a new one, you don't have all achievements anymore, basically, right? Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, that sounds bad. I sh I get your point, Sean. I understand what you're saying. Okay, please, Harry, just jump. Maybe I should do this with D-pad. But as long as he jumps everywhere, this is gonna be kind of difficult. Troll dancing. Is that a new new genre? Oh my god, that is actually gonna be hard. I mean, there's like river dancing and stuff, right? So <laughs> maybe maybe troll dancing is just a new one. Well, continue. It's fine to die here, right? What does it say? Um, defeat the giant, oh no. Defeat the living gaga. No, that is an achievement. No, I, f I, I was looking for that, but I thought it wasn't one. I missed one. We can kind of restart the game though and get it relatively quickly because it's in the beginning, but. Oh my God, what the fuck? This is gonna be difficult. But what does it say about the troll? I have to check that real quick. Where is that achievement? 
But yeah, beating the Gaga without losing damage, uh, well, without losing health is one. It's fine, it's fine, it's not the worst. Knocked out the troll without letting any toilets hit Ron or Harry. Okay, that's fine. So this troll chase you can get in. And... Yeah, I'll do that at the end. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'll, I'll do that in the end. All good. They really pushed the PlayStation 1 to its limits. Yeah, which isn't doesn't say much, to be fair. It's still the PlayStation 1. Cutting edge tech in 1990. I mean, it kind of was. An arc. Dang, you chose some tough games to 100%. That's kind of impressive. Yeah, technically I did forget. I was even looking for that. I was thinking like, yeah, wait, didn't I read that somewhere? But I couldn't find it because it's actually kind of common. Because it's very easy to do, I guess. Dude, what is this beam placement? Oh, I looked into chat. I've, I'm stupid. Okay, I'm actually gonna focus on this run. No more chatting. Uh, what a stupid segment. That is the dumb- like, the beans are just really shit. Like, why do they make him in such awful patterns? I mean, I know why, because to f fuck up the play- fuck off- fuck with the players, there you go. Imagine being able to talk. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. This is fine. We got this. Fuck off! I had that one. This this shouldn't be that difficult. This is like a kid scheme. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's right before Gringot, so... I guess this is where they wanted to uh, increase the difficulty. I mean, I guess if you play this the normal way, you don't need all beans either. Because, like, the Fred and George thing opens at, what, 75 or something? I don't know. Or oh, 100? I don't know. But at least not 125, which you need for the achievement. I think this would actually be a dang fun speedrun category though, by the way. Actually kind of a difficult one as well. And the routing for like the frogs and stuff would be pretty cool. So if there is some PlayStation 1 enthusiasts in this chat, or some PlayStation 1 speedrunners, maybe, maybe we can make that a board if more people run it. I know I've been advertising quite a bit in favor of it, but I do kind of enjoy this. It's pretty fun. Okay. Second segment. See, if I'm not reading chat, it go goes pretty well. If anyone joined in recently, I'm sorry, I'm not reading chat right now, but <laughs> you are welcome. What the fuck is that? That was honestly the stupidest shit ever. I'm very tempted to open the chat again. I, I can't wait to see everyone making fun of me, but... I, w I won't be able to focus on this. This is genuinely the, the... I don't know what this is. I don't know why this is so difficult. Why did they make this so poorly? Like, you literally have to know where they are. You can't just... You can't even just freestyle this. Okay, so far so good. So I love how this starts with a, with a jump. So you almost automatically miss the first frog. <laughs> okay, here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This is the furthest we've gotten, though. I have absolutely no idea what to do now. I'm stressed. Okay, those seem to seem to be pretty fine. That was pretty fine. That was a bit dumb, but we got it. Okay. Okay. Please be the end. Oh. Oh. I just had to. I had to fully look at it. Also, the wait. We might still get fucked here. There's no safe here. I need to do this without getting hit. Oh my god, that's so bad. This is definitely the worst part of the run. Okay, that's good. He keeps on throwing it at me. That's kind of lucky. He's throwing it at Ron. Good. Throwing it at Ron. Oh, okay. Let's go. Yeah, no, that segment, it's it's really weird. I mean, obviously it gets easier if you know it better, but since it's my first ever attempt at this, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, if I would have had to replay that, I would have been... Th I would have actually been, like, tilted. <laughs> okay, okay. I like how Harry was, like, blocking the view, by the way. With his arm. Couldn't even see what the hell I was doing. When does he keep getting them toilet bowls? He, you do not want to know where he pulls them from. Okay, so where is the rest of the of the red beans? But yeah, where is the rest? Uh, I'm a bit worried about it. I mean, I, I, there's no way I missed it. I've been very thorough. Fluff. Oh, Ron just likes fluff. Blindfolded PlayStation 1. Jesus. I don't think this has any audio cues. 
Oh, there's been more blindfolded cheating, though. I don't know if people saw, but there's been uh, blindfolded monster hunter cheating. <laughs> I always love those. I'm a sucker for that kind of drama. Welcome you did, yeah. <laughs> it's it's pretty funny. Like it's a, it's not necessarily a speed run, but uh, yeah. It's always fun to to watch videos. Yeah, I watched the Carl Joss video. Yeah, yeah, it's it's always very fun to watch those people being taken apart. It's just so weird how blatantly some people just decide to choose and then like stand their ground basically. Hope I never see you on one of those. I mean, why would I cheat? Like, genuinely, I think I'm one of the least likely people to end up on there because I, I'm not known for doing good runs. <laughs> like, like I, I don't have anything to prove, essentially. Like, if I get world record, nobody gives a shit in anything, really. So, it's I'm just kind of here to have fun, basically. So, out of everyone, I really don't, I really don't think I'll have any incentive. <laughs> yeah, next week, yeah. I can proudly say I have never cheated in a speedrun in my life. Uh, I've cheated in video games before, but not in multiplayer games. Only single player, like Sims and shit. Potter breaks the lead. It, it, like blindfolded gameplay especially it is incredibly obvious if you fake it. it like it's it's incredibly obvious if you like it's you can always tell 100% and it is always um, fed with what the fuck with proof and stuff as well that was terrible but we got an achievement the sims has multi wait the sims has multiplayer does it actually is a brightness boosting cheating oh god don't start with that don't don't be don't be a redditor. <laughs> no, it does not. Yes, not official. Oh, like a mod. Okay, fair enough. I guess I've not f cheated in a multiplayer mod of The Sims. Cheated on the flying in two GBA. I mean, I guess that's fair. Like in single player games, I can't really uh, I can't really blame people at all. Oh my god, that one, the dream one, Jesus Christ. There's been, that, that was the same situation though, also just doubled down on it and like, pretended like he didn't do anything and until then eventually he, like, admitted to it. Have I ever cheated in Monopoly? No, I, I find cheating in games in general is really fucking awful. I didn't save, isn't there a save book in here? Uh, maybe I should have done that. Yeah, I should probably do that. Thank you. But like, even even in board games or anything, yeah, it, it, like ch cheating. Like if if you play with other people, basically anything, competition or anything, ever once stolen something? No, no, I've not done any illegal thing. Um, I I find that pretty awful and revolting as well. Even if it's small things, because they belong to someone else. Not okay. I know I'm going to sound like a lame ass, but no, I don't think it's okay, ever. I guess if you do it unintentionally somehow, that's a different thing, but Welcome oops. The first stolen your time. Uh, that is true. That is true. I have stolen, I have stolen your time. Imagine not committing crimes. Yeah, I kind of cringe, right? <laughs> uh. All coins needed for an achievement? Nope, thankfully not. That would be actually awful. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying as well. Like, cheating is fine as long as nobody else is impacted exactly, which, you know, in single-player games, it's totally fair. In school, it's only fine. Like, there's some really stupid teachers that, like, grade it depending on who has the best exam. And I hated that, by the way. Also, fair enough. So, only enjoy the podcast. I, I hated that so much, but basically whoever did the best in the exam was like the 100%. And then everyone else got graded, I'm dumb. I'll just reload that. Got graded depending on that, which is just the stupidest way to do it. Just have like a fucking baseline yourself and then like, yeah, whatever. But apart from that, I don't, I don't think. Those cheat code books. Oh, for video games. Yeah, but that's also like single player games. You mean in a relationship canal? No. 
absolutely not. It's one of the things I hate, despise with all my heart in a person. This is one of the worst things you can do to someone in my opinion, so no. Yeah, I, I despise relationships, exactly. You understood me correct. <laughs> Some people just don't have morals, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's... I don't know. I, I think some people either didn't grow up very well educated, so to speak, or just are lacking that kind of empathy, in a way. Like, there is, it is conditions and stuff that cause that, obviously, and, and, you know, sometimes it's just the thing that people have, but... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't think it's ever okay. Wait, oh, there's the card. Oh, thank God. I was actually kind of worried for a second. Uh, the diamonds are for the card. That's why we need all of them. Otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten Ignatia Wildsmith, the best card. Even though she looked like Bertie Bot for a second there. But hey, she's just stealth, I guess. It's an interesting question, you know. Well, I'm glad I don't have to worry about that. Um, phew. Hypothetically, I think, yeah, because it wasn't with me. And if, if that person regrets it, honestly, then I don't see why not. Oops. Also, imagine actually splitting! Your workday was super quiet. Well, your workday was filled with HP1, PlayStation 1, all achievements, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Your cat really likes to injure you for some reason, Warren. <laughs> I've noticed that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that I fully agree as well with Forgetful. Like, honesty and straightforwardness, is that a word? Is, is definitely always very important. I have to kind of focus up, I'm sorry. It's been a very captivating talk, but... Um... Oh, yeah, that, yeah, I, I fully would as well, too, honestly. Like, to f think bad about that person, by the way, <laughs> to clarify that. Yeah, no. Yeah, I just don't think that's okay, either. I would think bad about the, the girl, or worse about the girl, I guess, but being the one in the relationship, but I think both are just like, it's just not cool from either side. Nah, that's awesome here though. I'm glad people are enjoying their stay here during some bad Harry Potter runs. Okay, at least I got sickles first, right? That's helpful. That is very helpful. Yeah, this, this part is fucking awful. Like playing this casually, thankfully I have a lot of practice from Hundo, but doing, doing it all achievements actually casually would be hell. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, first the troll and then this, this, this is just terrible. Okay, what the fuck, forgetful? <laughs> that sounds, that sounds like it would be something that Hollywood comes up with. But yeah, that's, that's pretty awful. I fully agree. Kind of like the squeaky shoes, they're also pretty awful to get back to this game. Uh, Galleons is usually like traditionally easier than um, than Sickles. Oh god, that's fine. So we should hopefully be okay, but it's also a bit faster, so... I need to be a bit careful. Okay, so let me see, is there any other achievement I still need? I mean, obviously the last beans, we need to open the the last portrait as well. And we have to defeat both the Voldemort and the Armor um, without taking damage. I do not, Dexter, this is actually my very first attempt at doing any uh, all achievements thingy. Like, this is the very first time I'm really using retro achievements. So I'm completely, completely new to all of this. Yeah, the squeak. I hate the squeaky shoes. It always reminds me of basketball matches, though, uh, to be honest. Thank you, Wrench, by the way. 71%, not terrible, but there's one I missed, so I have to replay from the start again, but it's okay. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. 
Never want to hear that now. It really does sound like it though. It's, it's exactly how it sounds during basketball matches when they're all just running around. Sorry about that. Like, I, I mean, they must have gotten the sound effect from somewhere, right? I feel like it is just them, like, walking, walking through a gym or something. What is the last spin direction? I forgot. Is it to the left? Completely forgot. We'll see. Oh god. Uh, uh. HP and NVA are made by the same publisher. See? Proof. Harry is Michael Jordan. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, from being able, from having squeaky shoes to being able to play like Michael Jordan, it's a small step, you know. It's, it's basically nothing. Isn't NBA 2K? It is, yeah. I was also a bit confused. I was just kind of rolling with it. <laughs> I'm also not entirely sure how it's the same publisher. But I wanted my point proven. No achievement for all coins? No, thank God. It's only for the card, which honestly is bad enough. I don't think there is. A no, there isn't. There isn't, right? Can someone go to the game and check? <laughs> no, there isn't. I don't think. It's only for cards, I'm pretty sure. Oh, in the 2000s they were made by EA. See, I knew that exactly. That's that's why I agreed to it. <clears throat> it should be hopefully still valid if we're not missing any frocks or potions, which we might, honestly. Make an achievement for getting all coins and not getting hit. I mean, getting hit isn't... That's kind of easy to prevent, yeah. But true, they are missing those to make it extra awful. <laughs> oh, here. Someone tell you to start studying now? Um... Canal, we have to start studying. Is is that good? Was that good? Was that convincing? Is it down again? Oh, I hate when it does that. Like it can be down twice in a row. It cannot be up twice in a row. Not enough. Uh, well, to be fair, Diagon Alley is actually kind of fun. We can make a deal. Once I'm out of Diagon Alley, you start studying. This this part is kind of actually enjoyable. Start studying tomorrow. No, 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 don't push it back too far. I mean, I know that some, I do that sometimes, or I used to do that. I have that sometimes where I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll do this and this, and then I start studying. Well, it's actually kind of bad, so you probably shouldn't wait until I'm done with with uh, Diagon Alley. Yeah, thank you, Chad. Thank you for all the great motivational words there. Oh. Yeah, it's very different gameplay-wise, and it's very laggy, but it always has been. Yeah, I hate this fecker, this stupid peacock. I don't get why everyone loves horror who enjoys being scared. Yeah, it, you need this kind of love-hate relationship, I guess. Otherwise, you're not going to enjoy it. <laughs> okay, that's funny, actually, Sean. I would not do that. I would feel so mean. I mean, I guess it's efficient, but <laughs> I would feel so mean. All right, cool. Pretty decent. Good. One more, and that one is at least less RNG. You want boring dreams instead of the ones you can't remember? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, it, remembering dreams is always nice, honestly. I don't care how boring they are, but sadly most of the time I can't. Yeah, this minigame is so weirdly easy. I don't know why. Like, the entirety of Diagon Alley is difficult as hell, except this. <laughs> it's weird. I guess it is a speed run of sorts, but it's a run where I just don't... I'm not super sure what to do at all times, but it's actually been relatively okay pace-wise, I would say. I just had to reload like two, twice or three times or something. Twice or thrice. My estimate was actually initially six hours, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna beat that. Like, I don't know, we're close to the end of the game, as long as I'm not missing anything, like, significant. I mean, I have to replay it from the start because I did miss one achievement that I didn't see on there that I forgot about. But oh, apart from game. that, Woo! I mean, I think we're getting there. Hey, how to cure your dragon. That's a cool achievement name. Uh, I think it's maybe another hour or so. Probably. Max. I mean, there's forest and then that's basically it. I really hope we're good on points. I feel like I've gotten almost everything. The start of the forest, there's a grey panel thing. Cast on it and then the following one to get access to a couple of beans. Thank you. I had no idea, so that's really helpful. Uh, or you could not... No, no, but it's good. What the fuck? It's a fake wall! What the hell? 
That's... What the fuck is that secret? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I had no idea about this. <laughs> okay, wow, I had no idea that's there. That's... That's cool. Oh my god, what is... What are those lags? That is horrible. Yeah, it, it really... I would have never thought that's a secret. Is there anything else in this forest? I mean, there's... Is there beans later here? Yeah, there's some beans here and some points that I definitely want. I really don't know what we're on. It's gonna be a bit scary to to see in the end. If we're gonna be fine. Go and sneeze. It's the only instance of fake walls. I think it might... Oh, bean. I think it might be the only instance, yeah. I have too many points? You sure? Or do you mean, oh, you mean badges, I think. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking it's about the points. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I was really hopeful for a second. Oops. Bro. Nah, I know. Fair enough, Henrik. I, not everything's about me here. I know, I know. Uh oh. Please don't respawn. Oh, uh, despawn, rather. Okay, this is a potion. Yeah, this one I would have went into anyways, probably. This one seems pretty obvious. How many more beans do we need? I hope this is really the final ones we're missing. Then beans is actually not that difficult, then, if this is it. Silent Hill has achievements, too. Yeah, we're just gonna start being an achievement hunting channel. To be fair, those are fun channels. It's really... I, I like that as a concept. Just picking up, like, a random game and getting all achievements in them, basically. Cool. Yeah, Caldeo does that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Caldeo, Caldeo does that on stream as well. It's really cool. I, d I do like that as a concept. Okay, where's the final three beans? Oh, yeah, I doubt, I mean, Silent Hill probably wouldn't have easy achievements, but that's kind of the joy of it as well. Like, if you pick up random games, you just kind of, like, you either get one that's really easy, or you could get one that's kind of difficult, or you can get someone, someone that's, like, just long. Or some game. I mean, maybe you're just a chocolate enjoyer, Portal. I'm not sure about that. Do you like chocolate? <laughs> could be that. That could be the reason. Okay, we still need 20 more frogs. Speaking of frogs... <laughs> oh, so wow, that's some, that's some deep questions. You love chocolate? See, there you go. That's that's your answer then. Yeah, I remember that in the in the late game there's a bunch. Let's hope it's at least 19. <laughs> Where's the final three beans? I'm actually getting kind of worried at this point. Nice. They have to be somewhere. Hmm. The remaining beans are by the remaining card. Oh, okay, that would be good. Oh, two more frogs. Why is there so many health items in this level? Jesus. Getting closer to being done. I really... That's the only one I'm worried about. Okay, cool. That's good. There's a card here, I know. Just have to turn turn the camera without walking out of the level. Oops. Ah, what the Harry? Yeah, the red beans and GBA are actually tomato beans. They say that. They specifically say that, which makes me dislike them even more. I should actually. Um, oh, I should have gone to the full year magi. Fuck. I hope that's not needed to trigger the Quidditch match at the end. I don't think it is. I don't think I need this, right? Is this house points? I'm just gonna do it. How do I not know all areas? I mean, Hanno doesn't have to go everywhere. It, it skips a lot as well. I mean, I guess I could, but is that needed to trigger the Quidditch match in the end? I really don't know. Bro, this controller can fuck off. I don't think I can do this. Okay, I guess I can, never mind. <laughs> I really don't know if that's needed to trigger the match. I know it's needed for 100% to look at the full year Magi at least once. That's an interesting achievement name. By the oh, that's why, Henrik. Yeah, and since we've been in the common room, yeah, so we're fine. Yeah, yeah, very true.
I mean, Harry moans a lot on PC, that's true, but he doesn't even really have any voice lines. <laughs> he has like eight or something. PlayStation 1 Harry at least says like a couple more normal sentences. God damn it. The centaur is hot. <laughs> he doesn't even have nipples. How can that be hot? He's deformed. <laughs> oh, so yeah, true. I need to. I need to do the uh, flipendo upgrade. Thank you. So where exactly is that upper castle? Nick so enjoys nipples. Also, I should have gone to the other secret now. I don't know why I did that so early. That was really dumb. Okay, so upper floor castle. Put it on Wikipedia. They deleted me recently. Again. They just don't want me to be famous, sadly. It's very sad. Wait, so up the T. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I know where we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sajuk. That makes sense. Why was I deleted? I mean, I don't belong on Wikipedia, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I'm not famous enough to be on there. People just put me up there for, like, fun, basically. So they it, eventually there's, like, some mod who realizes, wait, who's this person? <laughs> they, they have, like, no sources, no credibility. Why are they on here? And then they just remove me. You can see the person who changed. Yeah, who changed it exactly? And the reason? Yeah, 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 tell me, tell me, lay it on me. Who doesn't want me on there? Which mod? Nice one, Harry. Thanks for the, Thanks for the beans. Thanks for the be They're talking about Percy socks. What the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> Aw, what an awful day to have ears. Twitch.tv slash next. I think they want to see like journalistic articles and stuff. Oh, the one who put you on there can see? Oh, okay. I thought everyone can. Bro, can you please climb this? What the hell? Okay, Harry. RBP, how dare they? Freaking RBP. Oh, they were referencing the troll saying it smells worse than Percy socks. <laughs> uh, uh, because that's where you exit for the for the troll. Okay, I'm gonna save after we got this, I guess. Just in case we don't have enough house points or something. Even though I don't know what I could even do to get more house points at this point. But yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. You were sup Oh, nice. Nice room, actually. You were supposed to talk to them right after the troll chase, so that would make sense. Still kind of a cool cutscene, I like that. That's a cool dialogue, it's some nice detail. They've, they've done that well. Also, hey, we actually have the battery flipendo now, which is kind of gonna be pretty nice for the boss fight, to be honest. Also, imagine actually saving. Yeah, I don't think there's any point. Like, if I don't have enough be uh, points, then... I, I think I do, hopefully. But... If not, then... Uh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> then we just have a problem. Ah, you know what, whatever. I don't know if you can even get points anywhere here. I don't think. Whatever, I'll save, just in case. Time to end this. And then play it again until the gargoyle, because I fucked something up, but... Oh well. Yeah, I mean, we got, we got it a bit later, I guess, but... It's not really that useful, the Jinx upgrade. It's nice to have, and again, for the boss fight, I'm happy about it, but... Nah. They're not super, super needed. Uh, okay, anyways, uh, this is the moment of truth. Are we gonna get this achievement? Please, 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 please. Don't do this to me. Don't tell me we're like sh very barely short. I've done like everything though. Like literally everything I could find. Don't tell me that's all points. If it's all points, it's actually so shit. I didn't think it would be like this close. I might be missing points from that. I am five points off. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. Is it actually just all house points? So is there anything I can do in the castle to get house points? Does anyone know? <laughs> That's so shit. Because is there, is there like anything? I mean, I know there's the candle which we've done. Unfortunately, it did turn out that you need all house points for this achievement and then we just missed five in an area we couldn't come back to. So that was it for the day, that was the run and we had to come back the next day. 
The first mission was to find the five points that we missed. Also, I hate this room. I don't know, like, what to do properly in this room. It's so weird that you can even push it that far for points. And then after that was done, all we had to do was actually beat the Gargo fight without taking damage. Oh, refurbish one even, nice. Also, we I did not save again. So I have no idea what the Specky clone is, to be honest. That's some that's some hardware I haven't even heard about. I'm too much of a zoomer, I think. No, no, I got you, Vlad. It isn't the right HP one. You know, it's fair enough. Also true, what Rene says, we need more runners for single years, honestly. And just like that, we were back at Fluffy, ready for the late game. Come on, come on. Please. Gryffindor. Hey. Cool. Actually, finally, we have enough points. <sighs> and we are still behind Slytherin. We haven't missed a single point. They do that in one PC as well. Okay, as long as we get all chocolate frogs, we should be good now. I think. I think the rest should be basically just finish the game and not take damage at the Knights and Voldemort. In the Slytherin common room. Oh, what the fuck? At least there's no damageless Fluffy. That would be annoying. I mean, I guess we get points for being chats and stopping Voldemort. It makes sense we get some points for it, right? Given how close it is, I can kind of see it. It is probably not. That's a fair point, Sean. <laughs> it's a fair point. It's the, the way they specify humans and like not goblins and stuff, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember roughly where they're at. Like they're behind those fake Ooh, walls and stuff. Woo! There's nothing until after key. Do I understand that correct? Yeah, Slytherin always has more. It's the same as PC, yeah. It's smart, I guess. The kids get... Oh, I'm so glad we know what it's the kids get motivated, I guess, to... Uh... Oh my god, I forgot we have the quick charge now. And I still fucked up. <laughs> to uh, do better, that's what I wanted to say. To keep on grinding. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool with the update. I mean, it doesn't really change much because they have a cooldown to before they become accessible, but... I find Fluffy very cute as well, usually. Except in this game. In this game, he actually looks like he's straight from hell, but... Oh yeah, I can do this now. Oh yeah, this is actually really good. This is like a lot of damage. That's nice. Cool. I mean, yeah, he is supposed to guard the underworld. That's very true. So it makes sense. Okay. Was there a frog in that room? No, right? No. Is there a frog in here? No, right? Okay, okay. So it's... I don't have to worry about anything for now. Good. That's what I was a bit worried about. And I have to make sure to save before the late game. And then before Voldemort as well. Okay, this should be pretty free. No damageless, nothing needed. It's your favorite theme? It, it is really good. For me, it's always gonna be the one that plays on the slide at the end of HP2 PlayStation 1. And the god theme, of course. That one's epic. Yeah, but yeah, that's actually... I didn't think about that as a list. But to be fair, the Valdi fight is technically easy if you do the glitch. Like, on paper, I really should be fine. The second phase is super free. But then again, it's me that you're talking about, so... <laughs> I am probably gonna find a way to... Take damage. Uh, that was nice. Bro. Not even the cat jam? No. Wait, what the... F okay. Uh, whatever. Not even the cat jam beats it. it. It just reminds me of HP6, which just can fuck off, so... Uh, there's an achievement to defeat the knights. Yeah, no, I mean the glitch at Voldemort. Uh, the first stage you can kind of skip by uh, positioning properly. So he gets kind of off-screened. Okay, where are the fake walls? Am I seeing any? Well, this is pretty clearly fake. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. Mm, yeah, you know what? I'll save here. 
70. Okay, we were in 69. Oh, no. Oh, no. wait, but SLS says it's 12 in the end. Then that would work out. Then 69 is correct. Uh oh. <laughs> one six and six and ones are pretty easy. Well, that's good to hear. Then I'm even more down for that being requested. Is there anything else? No. Did I get everything there? I'm good on frogs. Can someone confirm I've gotten everything before before chess? Obviously, sixty nine is correct, but in what context? S M H. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, oh, I don't know. Cannot confirm or deny. Thank you. Very helpful. Very helpful. It should be okay, though. <laughs> I mean, they. Yeah, it would have been cool to have an HP one where they play like proper chess. I agree. Am I doing this correct? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> I don't have the notes open, so I'm kind of just winging chess right now. I should probably open those real quick. <laughs> That's probably the the thought process, Enric. That's why the HP five devs are giga chess. You know, they trust, they believed in their in their fan base to be smart enough for chess, which I totally was not, <laughs> to be honest. I was an absolute idiot. As, I mean, I still am, to be honest, but yeah, no, I struggled with the Ravenclaw champion. <laughs> My three-hour estimate was actually pretty spot-on, apparently. I want to do LEGO Creator, though, soon. Uh, I, I, I hate that the fucking tech was so messed up that it didn't work out today, but... Uh. Is, how was Legacy of Chess? No, 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 no. I, I know it works, I have set it up, like, LEGO Creator definitely works, 100%. Minex set it up, honestly, to be fair. Yeah, I, same, Sean. I thought that as well. The translation is quite something. Uh, yeah, it's, it's only possible on Windows 7, though, apparently, so... Um, it's gonna be over, like, a VM now, basically. Uh, I should save soon. I don't know where the next save book is. But I'm a bit worried to get hit during the fights. Hey, in case Hermione has test to read about trolls. It's good that she has a book. She now knows to not wake up the troll. <laughs> it's totally not like you know that if you're just like, if you have two IQ points left. You should be able to tell. That was the last save book in the game? There's none in the way? Oh. <laughs> uh, that's a bit of a problem. Which door is it that says he must not be named? Wait, which door? How do you mean that? Let me focus on this real quick. I probably missed the joke there. I'm so sorry with the, with the door. I'm just a confused idiot. But yeah, I'll send you if you remind me. Boom. Cool. <laughs> is there frogs in here? Great. No, right? Is there? No. I have that better not be. No, good. Ah, okay. Oh, it's like a voice line that he has, I see. Am I missing a frog? There's one more potion, right? Don't tell me I'm missing a frog. No. Oh, there is a frog in the night? Okay, good. I do not remember. Thank you. Okay, I have to do this damage list, though. I actually have to kind of focus. Oh, there's the frog. I see it, yeah. I mean, how hard can this be, right? Yeah, the last potion is on the other side. That's next to Valdi. Uh, to Snape, of course. Next to Snape. <clears throat> Famous last words. Oh, absolutely. I'm very scared of this, but I forgot to save. <laughs> what can I do? Confidence is the only way, though. I mean, those are... Oh, those are easy. It's just the big dude that's a bit scary. 
Yeah, Flipendo is gonna help a lot. Uh oh. How do you even beat this guy? I haven't fought this guy in fucking years because you don't do this fight. Why does the camera tilt, by the way? Is the cameraman having, like, a problem? Do we need to call someone? We might need an ambulance here. Uh oh. Dude, stop tilting the camera, it's so stupid. Immersion. No! He does two attacks. It's a dick. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's Force Perspective. Um, yeah, well, I should have saved in the other save book, but I honestly didn't know that's the last one there is. It's okay. It's a first run. It has to be bad, you know. It can only be bad and then get better. You respawn right after the ice potion. Oh, okay, then we don't even need a save book. Oh, okay, fair enough. I thought we have to redo the entire, like, late game again. Oh, that's actually totally fine then. Thank you. Good to know. Also, interestingly enough, apparently it does not matter if you get hit by those guys, I just realized. Because the icon in the in the bottom right only pops up once the boss fight starts. So that's interesting. So now we can kind of just do whatever. Around halfway, he's he does two attacks. I have to remember that. So I can't instantly charge. It's, it's a really easy fight, honestly. I should never get hit here. See, that's the kind of confidence we need. Hogwarts Legacy is just reskinned HP1 PlayStation 1. Honestly, that might actually do well on YouTube. Okay, okay, two attacks. I'm not sure if the next one is three, but I can take it like very chill. He lost his hat. Feels bad. Not bad. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, that was genuinely incredibly easy. The fact that I got a hit there was stupid. The only issue is if we get hit here now, then we have to redo the fight. Also, hey, the most rare achievement in the game. Let's go. Cool. So there's only two missing. No, three missing. We're getting there. Yeah, it's all that remains is doing the final boss damage list, basically, and then doing the Quidditch match. So, we'll see. Shouldn't be that hard. I've done this a couple times. Okay. Believe, tr trust in the mirror. Uh oh. That's fine though. We'll just wait. We'll wait. I fucked something up. I guess my timing was bad. Bad, but it's fine. You're safe here. Doesn't matter. The mirror is OP. The hitbox is so dumb. It's one more. I don't want to soft log, so I'll do it very slow and safe. Uh, but basically, it goes through uh, Duck Station. Yeah, what matters is when you shoot, so I still- I shouldn't fail this even with the fast flip and- How is he still not dead? Fuck off, Voldemort. But yeah, I, I appreciate that as an excuse. Did he not get hit? Oh, he did, okay. Uh, but yeah, I basically, Parker, with Duck Station, um, you can just- you can go to the settings and there's literally one that's just called Achievements. And then you log in with your retroachievements.org account. Oh, he goes there. And that's all there is. From that point on, it's automatically gonna do it. It's really cool. It's really well made. Yeah, this phase is free. Like, if I get hit here, then I don't deserve this achievement. Honestly. Like, this is absolutely free. Yeah, we used the mirror of temporary invis invincibility. Not invisibility, that's what we have the cloak for, but... Yep. Yeah, I played that very slow and safe, just to make sure, because I did not want to redo that night fight. I'm a bit worried about him um, vibing and, like, uh, being Disco Valdi. I'm very worried about that, actually. Also, yeah, it's weird not having done the skip before, yeah. I don't think this is too bad. Hopefully it's not gonna be the soft log Valdi. 
Sometimes disc of all these soft locks and you you don't actually go to the credits. I don't think it's the one though. I think it looks different when it happens. I'm pretty sure it's like his one constantly glowing. It is very rare as well, I feel like. This is slow, yep. Yeah, this fight sucks. It's not very fun. Thank you for the energy. Now we can get damaged, because I think it's impossible to not get damaged here, to be honest. Oh, that might actually make damageless HP1 PlayStation 1 very difficult. I just realized. Oh no, actually no, you don't take damage, really. No, it's fine. Never mind. When we're looking at Voldemort's wand so closely, well, you ask him, honestly. He's, he's doing weird things with this wand. <laughs> That's what I need the energy for. Yeah, no, it doesn't count for the achievement, I know, I know. Because you do take, like, min minor damage during this. Definitely emotional damage as well. Looking at what he does to Harry. Alright. Oh, I guess this is here. The end, but it's not the end. <laughs> we are missing one. So, uh, hold your horses with the GG's. Uh, actually, we're missing two. Never mind, but they're just gonna happen. Wait, is the Quidditch Cup actually... Do I have to go to the menu for that? No, really? Oh my god, I thought we just do the Slytherin match and that's it. Do I actually have to go to the menu and play Quidditch? Nah, okay. I, I would have believed SLS, to be honest. <laughs> the game auto-directs you to the match. No, I know, I know, but like, does this count as winning the Quidditch Cup if I, um... Once I'm done with Slytherin, or do I have to play it from the menu as like a bonus challenge? Because I'm not sure about that. The Quidditch Quidditch Cup is the menu one? Yeah, I... <laughs> it's okay. I, I like playing Quidditch. Hey, it's fine. At least I can finally submit the IELTS for like the second Quidditch match, because I you never do that in any other run. 197 people have mastered it. That's actually impressive, honestly. 197. Well, it's gonna be 198 in a couple of minutes. I can tell you that much. Come on, Harry Potter. 16 people have mastered 4 GBA. Actually, only 16. Oh my god. To be honest, I don't know what's required for that. It might just be awful. But that's not that many. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Lee doesn't know we've done well and we've collected things. Lee Jordan is oblivious. Well, the good news is, no matter what we're doing, by the way, is uh, that we we cannot actually lose this anymore. Like, I mean, I guess maybe if we crash or something, but there's nothing missable anymore, is my point. The rest will uh, we'll just get by playing. Where the fuck does this go? I don't remember this match at all. Oh, there's a time trials on the tasks, but the, oh, okay. I mean, that's probably free though. I mean, the dragon task is always the same time because it's an auto scroller, so that can't really be that difficult. I mean, it's almost always the same. Th I know what you're saying. There's time save. The third one is a time trial. Oh god. I mean, that should be easy though. 500 seconds is a lot. Why did I not get the achievement? Wonder if HP One PC Quidditch was supposed to involve rings to be similar. I I assume so because they have the rings in the flying lesson, right? Oh, we did get it. Okay, thank you. That makes sense. I didn't see. They have the rings in the flying lesson, so I assume that was the idea. Um, the the only thing, yeah, they probably couldn't make it work or something because they're also still in the in the flying, like in the Quidditch. They just don't do anything. Yeah, we need to get the Quidditch champion. We do have to go to the menu. SLS was correct after all. It's kind of cool to see this colored. I very rarely watch this intro uh, at the end of like an HP1 run because usually it's a do effect uh, and we, uh, we just go to HP2. So it's actually kind of nice. So can I skip this? <laughs> I should have done that before, I guess. But yeah, it's, uh, that was basically almost it. We just have to sit through this. <laughs> and uh, I guess then we play some Quidditch. I don't know. I should have played this earlier. Like the last save book, I should have saved, gone to the menu, played all of Quidditch, and then continued. Five minutes later. Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, leave me alone. 
Where's the laughter? Why is that there? I mean, he's dead, right? Or is that like, oh, he's being reborn, his spirit lives on, or what is the idea? Okay, so I guess I have to beat all of those, right? And since Quidditch is just Quidditch, and we've played through the first two matches anyways during this run, I chose to cut to the interesting parts, which are the later level, during night, and snow. Also, what the hell? This is during winter? That's so cool. I've never seen this before. Also, now it's 20 FPS, by the way. 22. It does fluctuate. Yeah, it's supposed to be on 30, but this area is just so fucking laggy. It's not. Now it's 20. Now it's 30. That's pretty good. Maybe this is better, optimized better during winter. Uh-oh. 20. Doesn't seem to go lower than 20, though, for some reason. No, okay. It, it still says 20. This does not look like 20 FPS, but... Yeah, Quidditch is the worst. The, the worst part of this run. <laughs> We're about to collect the final achievements, finally. Took longer than I thought it would, even after the tech issues were resolved. I'll try to read stuff in a second. It's kind of difficult during laggy AF Quidditch. This is long as well, okay. Don't, oh my god, what the fuck? Fuck off! Well, I don't want to submit that to the IL leaderboard. <laughs> oh, this is during the rain. That's actually kind of cool. How's this a Quidditch record in the fastest snitches 3.5 seconds? Oh, trust me, that was definitely not a record. That was terrible flying. That was just awful. I've never seen such flying. Is he? <laughs> I mean, I could catch it probably right now if the game would let me. Like how Hogwarts is in the background. Yeah, now all of a sudden we're in the mountains somewhere. Like, what the hell? I mean, I guess Hogwarts is supposed to be in the mountains, but... This is a really weird wallpaper in the background. I don't think I like it. It looks, I don't know, it looks very weird with this flat greenness and stuff. That was pretty good of a match. I'll take it. What is this time, even? 1.31.09. I'm, I'm just kind of curious. What do people get here in, like, a good one? Uh, okay. Okay, I, I would be third with that. That's not terrible. 1.29.79 is the, the world record in this. It's kind of a lot faster. Two seconds. Phew. Oh my god, during the night, but that's epic. Here comes, Potter. Here comes Potter. Also, this takes a lot longer than I thought, by the way. My estimate was- oh, what? No. No, 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 timer. Don't you dare. My estimate was wildly wrong, I think is fair to say at this point. I have to say, I've never seen those Quidditch matches. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty epic how they uh, change the background and stuff. Also, why did the first ring not count? I guess I wasn't there in time. Can you be there in time? Oh my god, the lags, Jesus Christ. Which at least this time is gonna be valid. It was still on 20, I checked. It, it didn't dip below, but I feel like Duck Station is kind of lying to me. It, it like, I've seen it on 17 once and since then it's like 20. Lee Jordan must feel like he's in purgatory. At least he gets to see like nice landscapes all the time. He gets teleported to really cool stretches of land somehow, randomly. He must be questioning what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Who wants to actually play this Quidditch Cup? Why are there three circles? I That is a good question, to be honest. <laughs> I I don't know. I mean, questioning the ways of this game is very fair. But I guess it's like sort of a progress bar. And they just thought the circles are a nice touch. I don't know. I mean, they do change the color once you're done. Like, now the red is gone, now they're yellow, but yeah. It's kind of pointless, to be honest. I agree. Circle over actually good controls. Yeah, circle over FPS, that's for sure. Oh my god. Okay, we're still... I mean, we've gotten most of the rings, so I guess I'll take it. For the final Quidditch match. This is actually the end of the stream, probably. 
139. Okay, that's terrible. I'm not even third with that. I am not last, though. I'm fourth out of six people. That's, that's okay. The first match was a lot better, though. Let's see what we get in Slytherin. Which only ha also has five people on the board. Okay, let's see. I'll definitely submit those as IELTS, just so I have some runs on there. It's completely pointless, but <laughs> whatever. Oh my god, this looks cool, though. And yeah, it's a long split. <laughs> it's likely 20 for real, but it's the fluctuation between 20 and 30 that kills it. I guess, yeah. That's why it looks super choppy. That would make sense. You have to, a chance to improve them soon. True, true, in the IL full series they're in as well. Yeah, so it's good to have a baseline. I like it. Also, this one seems to lag less. I mean, to be fair, the outside world is just a blue void <laughs> for this one. So I, I guess I can understand why it lags a little bit less. It makes sense. But this one's actually kind of smooth. Okay, I said nothing. Smoother. Ugh, shit, that's terrible. Wait, there's a pink skybox in HP2? You mean, oh, you mean like the sunset or what? I don't remember the pink one. Maybe I've never seen that room. That does sound kind of neat though. Um, can you fly through this? This is terrible. Two places. No, no, I figured, I figured, but I still don't know. I don't think I know that room. When does the ender dragon spawn? This is terrible, by the way. Yeah, it looks like it. There, there, there needs to be those big pillars on the horizon and then it really looks accurate. Yeah, I know the sunrise one. That one's cool. Oops. Bro. There we go! Mastered! Mastered the game! Let's go! Basic- oh my god, there's an animation for this? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Well, that was really cool. I enjoyed that a lot. That was a fun run, I have to admit. I had a good time once the tech issues were fixed. Uh, but there's obviously, we have to, we have to take a look now at the profile. There we go. All the cards. No, all the achievements, rather. And the bonsai will be shown in a second as well. There we go. What does this mean, by the way? Oh, missable, okay. Missable and progression. Whoops, that was a bit fast. And there we go. Celebrating with the bonsai, of course. We can do this for HP2. Absolutely. I'd love to. This was really good fun.